Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing a what if. Being the thumb what if of the, the thumbnail of the what if is right here. This is gonna be a universal intro from now on. So yeah, I'm sorry about that. Until I can get more time, because I do have school, summer school at least, I won't be able to post any really good intros. So this is gonna be in intro for a while. So, hope to see you later. Join the Discord server, link in the description, and let's get in to the what if. Thought it was Adolf. In a nigga, said they talk at a nigga. If I pull up, I'm knocking his face off. And I'm sitting in the hood. If a nigga wants smoke, then you know where I'm at. The clock got a switch. If a nigga act up, then he get the whole clip, then I feed him the Mac. He tried to run, I was walking him down, ended up with a boss, seven shots in his back. My niggas like bullies and piss. If I tell him to go, then they're ready to go and attack. So, um, this is t what today's date is. What is today's date? My phone, I can't believe it's the 26th and this what if comes out on the 9th um so I really do hope you guys enjoy what if Naruto's Logan is being born and let's just get into this story so how does story takes place is obviously with Logan's death or James death and because you do know his real name is James Howlett but he does go by Logan <clears throat> so his death in his movie, the the Mo Logan movie. I know you might ask, yo, why do you got a anime ver the anime version of Wolverine there? Because the Logan picture that was in the original thumbnail, I could not seem to get it to fit this thumbnail, like whatsoever. And I did not feel like alteration with the um image any um at all. So I was like, yo, I got this anime Wolverine. I can make the thumbnail red. It's red is an easy color to work with, along with even though it might sometimes come out darker. Blue does that too, and I really hate that. But um, it was an easy thumbnail to work with, and I was like, why not? So with his death after being impelled and closing his eyes, Logan would awaken once more, only to realize he was in the body of a child, a newborn baby at that. Standing in front of him was a red-haired woman. Well, holding him was a brown-haired woman, showing him onto a red-haired woman and a blonde-haired man. It didn't take Logan long to figure out that he had been reincarnated. After all, he has traveled the world and does know of what some cultures call reincarnation. Now, he's extremely surprised by this and wonders, Huh. Why did this happen to him? It wouldn't be until a masked man would come and attack, would um, kill the woman who was holding him and take him hostage. Then Logan be began to try to fight, but his body was so weak and really a baby, he couldn't really move much. He was like shifting from side to side, but he couldn't do much else. Which really sucked. As he watched as his, um, as the man would throw, place something, he felt the man place something on him. And would feel him be, himself being thrown into the air, only for him to be caught by his father as he looked. As his father ripped off the blanket as he felt the cold sudden chill on him, and jumped through a door where behind them, the place where his mother was exploded. His father would teleport them to a um, some sort of safe house as he knew it was teleportation due to the dizziness that comes with it. Logan would be surprised, extreme, extremely surprised by this. That his father was, was his father a mutant in this new world? Was his father a mutant? Or were mutants more common, more common knowledge in this, um, in this time or new world, wherever he was? He didn't know, really. Now, from here, I'm really going to have... Logan just watched as the Nine Tails attack go. Well, from what Naruto's point of view would have been in the Nine Tails story in canon, he watched all that go. His parents' last words, Kushina telling he was to take care of him, and and then even the Nine Tails being sealed within him. Logan would have been more distraught that his father did choose him to be the Nine Tails and Shuriki, but did not understand when he talked to the old um when the old man told him read her bedtime stories and told him of what a hokage was as a as a baby newborn he did understand his father's position why give up what why ask someone to give up what he wouldn't so <clears throat> as logan grew up in life he noticed that he didn't really have his mutant abilities 
But that didn't stop him. He did train his body and even trained his skill as not an engineer, but Logan did build himself a motorcycle, which did surprise Eerzin as Eerzin was surprised and not things like this sort of transportation were possible. And you may ask, yo, how could Logan build a motorcycle in the Naruto world? Think about this. Logan was around before the, it probably was around before the adventures of the motorcycle. And when the motorcycle was invented, Logan was in the army and most definitely did build his own motorcycle that we see him use in the X-Men movies. So, by proxy, he should know how to build a motorcycle. He might even have, he, he, he even, I'm even going to give him, say that he has the knowledge of how to build the working parts, which includes the engines and everything. And he would be able to get that done by, um, with Irizan's help. As Naruto said, he wanted to build something, but would need materials. Now, when not he was just saw the saw the cost of these things, and this was Logan at around age five, so he would need some help with uh, um with using these abilities, um, with uh, not using these abilities, with building it because a lot of these things, well, were heavy for a five year old child. As Logan was still training, and he had yet to enter the academy, as that wouldn't be until a couple months later. That he'd finally get the motorcycle built, the wheels put on, and everything. He was able to be quite surprised by Naruto's knowledge of this. And he asked Naruto, where did he get where did he get the idea for this? Logan brought out the blueprints that he had drew up because he knew the old man would be confused on why this how Naruto learned to build where Naruto learned to build this. And he says it kind of came to him in, in a dream. Those exact blueprints, which were the blueprints of every single part of it, how it worked. And how to put it together. He was going to ask Naruto if he would like to share this with Konoha, but Naruto, Logan will say no because no one else would know how to ride this thing or operate it. And he does not feel like teaching anyone. He was in was wondering how would Naruto know how to ride this? This is a bit older. It looks from the size of it is for Naruto when he's a lot older. Maybe when he's a shinobi. And really, there's really nothing more interesting than than his own him building a motor, building a motorcycle from here. So we time skip. I say around the age of nine years old, while Naruto's in the academy one day. No, better yet, not while in the academy. While at um, Naruto had um, Logan had managed to befriend the Uchiha Sasuke, and was walking home with him when they when they came across a bunch of dead bodies. He chased after Sasuke when Sasuke had went into his clan compound and would find Sasuke standing in a room with his brother. As Sasuke began to scream from the look his brother gave him, he he pitched, he imagined that it most likely was a genjutsu. Now, at this point, Logan was no longer living with the Hokage, so he was a bit more, de <clears throat> more dependent on himself. But using the knowledge of the fighting styles that he's learned so far, along with his previous life's fighting style, Logan would begin trying to fight Itachi. Now, Itachi wouldn't find any difficulty with this because, you know, Itachi's an Anbu, if not a high-tier Jonin at this point, if not close. So, due to the high stress of the moment and him being around the right age when he originally awakened it, his, this is where his mutant abilities would begin to awaken. While fighting Itachi, Logan would begin to scream as these bone-like protrude as he felt the, this pain before, in his past life. But since this body had not built up to the pain tolerance of those, of those abilities, of his mutant abilities, he began to scream out in pain as he closed his fist into an and straighten them out so that they wouldn't like come out at a weird angle. He screamed in pain as his body began to stitch itself up as as the um claw like protrusions were coming, bone like claw protrusions were coming out of his hand. Itachi wondered if Naruto had any relation to that of the Kagaya clan, but that really wasn't the truth or the case. As um as they finished coming out. The um, bone protrusions were at least a, um, I say a foot out and a foot in length. As Naruto got into a stance, as he began rushing towards Itachi, Itachi now had to be a lot more careful as he sliced through Naruto's bone-like protrusions. 
I believe they would grow back due to his um um mute um his regenerative abilities. Probably not instantaneously, but they would grow back really fast. But this is then when Logan would begin to feel a new power burst through his own mutant abilities. His blade, his claw-like protrusions would grow longer and regenerate faster. Again, this is the mixture of Chakra having an influence on his own mutant abilities, along with the QB's own powers. Now, I originally wanted to do this with the Kryptonian Naruto or the Superman, what if Naruto was Superman, what if, but I was like, Superman's overpowered as is, let's not do that. I almost didn't give him the QB, but I really hadn't, I didn't really want to pull a Rogue X, he's the Kohaku no Johei, on and what if. I just didn't feel like it because I did, I wouldn't understand how to get it. Rogue X seems to use that um, well, and I can't. I'm, I'm not one of those people who can use it well. That's not the point. As these bone line protrusions begin to grow, even another foot in length, these can kind of look weird. Actually, no, I'm going to have them grow like at least um, like another five inches over a foot because then they look, they'll be a bit harder for Rogue to handle. He rushed towards Itachi with a massive speed boost compared to what his natural um, super, um, enhanced speed was from his moon abilities. Itachi would be surprised by the boost in Naruto's speed as Naruto would claw Itachi's armor off. Itachi would be surprised that Naruto could pierce through his armor, only for Itachi to move his head to the side as Naruto's claws um, were placed into the wall, only for Naruto to rip the wall and like the part of the wall where it's caused that towards Itachi trying to slice him open. It wouldn't be until Itachi would say that he's had enough that he tried to knock not that he knocked Naruto out with the Genjutsu. As Logan would fall to the ground unconscious, he wouldn't be screaming in pain. He, um, his body would be jolted up in pain due to the receding of his claws. Uh, Itachi would be surprised. Was accessing his abilities really that painful that it literally jolted him from the genjutsu? As you know, pain is a way of dispelling genjutsu. As the calls fully recede back, uh, Logan's bleeding hands, which wounds have closed already at this point. And look at Itachi with a dangerous look before asking what did he do to Sasuke. Before telling Naruto that he's done to Sasuke, what he's done to Sasuke will show him the death of his parents over and over again. Logan would want to rush towards Itachi, but he was too weak and passes out. But after this, Itachi leaves and Sasuke eventually wakes up and confronts Itachi once more. When Naruto is found by Hirzen, Hirzen is surprised that Naruto was here. Thankfully, Itachi didn't kill him, but had... As Itachi told him he would have an accomplice, the accomplice may have even tried to kill Naruto. Which he thought was extremely reckless, but he couldn't blame Naruto as Naruto was more than likely just trying to protect his friend. As time goes on, um, and Itachi had reported to Hirozen about Naruto's abilities, Hirozen would try to tell Naruto that he's going to take up his training once more and begin teaching and helping him control his abilities. So from the age of 10 to 12, Logan would get, get a grasp of his abilities to a whole new level. He noticed that his strength far exceeded that of what it was when he was a mutant or even an experienced mutant at that. It was close to what he was when he was the most experienced with his powers at his peak. The Eclipse, well, I, this is also, I did have to do research for it to make sure I knew all of his abilities. This does also include him being able to lift up up to about two, 25, I think it was like 25 tons. Do you know how strong that is? That's, that's 100. No, 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 no. That's fucking stupid. I'm fucking dumb. That's going to be, that would be if a ton was 4,000 pounds. That's up to a, that's up to 50,000 pounds. But that's minus the QB's influence. You see, if not, if if his abilities were that as he was when he was an ex, inexperienced mutant, imagine what they be when he's fully experienced at the age nineteen. Now I'm I'm going to give you a scaling of what the QB's power would do, along with chakras amplifiers would do to Naruto. 
both amplifying Arto would be up to a 10 times increase of his baseline mutant powers. His bone structure a lot tougher, a lot stronger, a lot denser, and his claws a lot sharper. And him basically, and due to the nine tails, we do know that Wolverine. I I did see that Wolverine did have an, um uh, like a sort of wildness and feral side, where that if he went too deep into into you know his wild side, he'd lose control and attack almost anything like a wild animal. So yeah, but um, let's move on. He noticed his abilities were growing stronger every day. And by the age of um twelve again, he was around the same the same as he was in his peak adult years as Logan. This is actually when he decided to take the Genin exams early compared to everyone else. Now I did do this in the what if Naruto was all um had was all might, or what if Naruto was all might's reincarnation. But basically, Logan will take the exams and would fail due to him not knowing the clone technique and then knowing the shadow clone yet so mizuki this being naruto um logan's second attempt at the third attempt at this would essentially um be kicked from the shinobi program but that night mizuki would approach him like like naruto in canon and would give him an exam now logan would take the scroll knowing that he doesn't have time to explain things to hears in and would wait for mizuki he would learn the shadow clone technique along with this multi shadow clone variant and would eventually, when Mizuki and Iruka would come, he would um, essentially defeat Mizuki as he already knew he was lying to him. And since he already knew about the Nine Tails within him, it was really no problem with Mizuki revealing that. It didn't shock him. It didn't cause him to run away because he already knew this. So when he took Mizuki out, the high stress of the ex um, of the experience caused his powers to awaken even further. What I mean by it is after defeating Mizuki and all his clones, dispelling and him being bombarded by the memories of his clones, Logan would drop to the ground, clutch um, his body shaking, vi shaking violently as his as his claws protrude from his hands, as he had gotten his body used to the um, pain that had got essentially gotten his pain to where he no longer really felt much any if much if any pain from his claws coming. Um, if him from him um, unleashing his claws, as Hirzin's army would arrive and would grab Naruto, be careful of his claws, they would watch as Naruto's claws would begin to turn silver and metallic before sort of flattening out and sharpening, turning into what we see as Wolverine's adamantium claws. But due to his Uzumaki heritage, these claws would gain a, um, when infused with Naruto's own natural chakra, or gain the properties of the um, adamantium. adamantium. The Uzumaki chain claws, which are said to be an indestructible metal. The Uzumaki chain, soccer chains, are said to be made of a material that is similar to a uh, metal that is indestructible in the Naruto world. A metal that Emma, the staff, or the summon of the third Okage, when in staff form, is made of. But since the, the adamantium and his own bodies and foreign elements of this world, it's more indestructible than even that, but now it's gaining get much a lot more durability. What the f where is Siri at? Cause he keeps it on my nerves. That's not the point, guys. <clears throat> so after the events of this, as Naruto's in the hospital, he recently learns that Naruto's entire um skeletal um skeleton is literally being converted from bone into some sort of weird metal. A metal that they've never heard of or even seen in this world. The reason we wonder how far had his abilities grown or was this a result of the QB? As Naruto was in extreme pain, he eventually flatlined from the pain of this of his bones shifting from like little bones into this metal that bonded with his skeletal figure. Yeah, I think that's what you would call it. The skeletal system. Now, his mutant abilities have grown even stronger. Well, as far as, you know, his claws. 
and most definitely his strength and uh, baseline physical abilities have grown along with his durability. As Naruto would be knocked out um, with flatline, Hiruzen would be extremely worried. But minutes after Naruto flatlines, he would waken in a sort of rage, feral-like rage state, attacking any and everything in sight. Until Hiruzen was able to not um, to summon Emma and knock Naruto out, it was a lot of work, but he was able to do so. I mean, it was a lot of work because Hiruzen is old. So. Let's move on. Here's him tell Nar um once Naruto calms down, well, wakes up, now back in control fully. Here's him call him to his office where he tells Naruto that his abilities are a danger to himself. Him losing control of his feral side, as they call it, seems to be a problem. And with the QB might might be adding more uh, with Naruto with the QB working on Naruto's chakra influencing him when he's in a sort of emotional distress like state which the feral state kind of resembles he tells Naruto that he wants him to travel the world to gain control over his abilities before telling Naruto that due to word from Iruka um, and what he's seen that he's currently going to be promoting him to Genin and that for now he'll be on assigned to a training trip as he called for a man Jiraiya of the Sunny to come in. As he'd have to tell Naruto, explain to Naruto who Jiraiya was. Naruto had already recognized that name saying Jiraiya. He says that he remembers what his mother told him and asked him it, did he happen to know a woman by the name of a red haired woman by the name of Kushina. Now Jiraiya hears in a shop that Naruto knows who his mother is and and Jiraiya looks at Hiruzen and Hiruzen shrugs his shoulder. As he said, yeah, I did. She was the wife of the, as not to finish the fourth Okage. How did you know my parents? He asked. As Jiraiya was explained that he was the fourth Okage's teacher and that Naruto was also his godson. Now, in Logan's opinion, Jiraiya has been a pretty shitty godfather. As he was relatively treated the exact same as Naruto and Kenneth, and when he unlocked his unit's abilities, it was even worse. So, Logan didn't hold much resentment. Unlike Naruto, Logan could hold a grudge. And let's just say that grudge wouldn't go away anytime soon. Well, for, well, for a while, at least. We're going to see it for a while, not anytime soon, because that it probably that it'll take years upon years upon years. If not, like a half decade at most for me. So, as Jiraiya takes Naruto, um, Naruto heads to that special place where he stored his bike as he fills it up with a, um, as he got the converter, a converter for it to work on chakra rather than on gas, gasoline, and, um, and, um, sealed his bike away. Now, how was it working on chakra? I, um, it was due to using telling Naruto of the fuel requirements was something that they have never used before. Using, like, gas and oil for those things was something they'd never done and wouldn't know how to do. And Logan wouldn't know how to do that. But Yuzin did tell Naruto to convert the, um, the sort of fuel for it to chakra rather than, like, literal oil or gas, whatever you want to call it, gasoline. Anyways... So, from here, we time skip four years into the future. Well, it's actually, no, five years into the future. Naruto is now 17, heading back to Konoha. Now, currently, I'm 18. And I wanted to like, make him 18, because, it, like Rogue X said, it is a lot easier to talk about characters who are around your age. But 17 is, I was like 17 like a couple of weeks ago, so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> So it did not it does not matter really. So I say 17 is perfectly fine or rather than 16. So everyone in Konoha would hear a sort of noise, which would be the sound of his engine um Naruto's motorcycle um coming down the road and Konoha. Naruto's brown hair, well, which is really it's really look at the um I would say have it, I would base it off of Logan. Uh, from the X-Men movies, but I really do like the design of this Logan right here. I'm um, in the um, 
PNG. So I decided to just base his looks off of that. Yeah, this is Naruto is an anime, so anime Logan. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty simple. Naruto to come back where he'd ride around Konoha until he reached the Hokage's office where he'd seal away the motorcycle once more into a, into a scroll on his back. The people who come home would wonder what contraption that is that this person is on, along with wondering who that person is and where did he. And a lot of people, the civilians especially, would want to ride on that thing, whatever it may be. As they watched as the man would get up and roll into the, uh, walk into the Hokage's office. As Naruto knocks, Yuzen says, Come in. As he says, uh, Naruto, you're back. As Naruto says, I didn't think you recognized me. I throw all my hair. It's gone from his blonde color to brown, I know. But you still relatively look the same and facial era, area. If not more a bit more mature. Naruto smiled before bringing out a cigar and lighting it. As usual would say, my my Naruto, aren't you a bit too young to smoke? As Naruto was smart. Before throwing a cigar at the old man. As soon as he was smile before lighting it with his own fire chakra. As they begin to speak, Hirzen tells Naruto to, that he'll be joining the graduating class in a couple of weeks to get his guinea team. So for now, he can go and train within the training grounds, but to prepare for whoever his teammates may be. As Naruto, as he be placed in the dead last position due to the fact is... That he hasn't been in the academy for a while, along with him technically having graduated years ago. And since it's uneven, Naruto, he already knows what team Naruto is going to be on. So, Logan went nod at the old man, telling, telling him, fine, he's alright with that. If Logan leaves the. Um, Logan leaves the. Hokage's tower and heads off towards well, what's his house, what, which is his, actually his own house at the Saratobi compound. It was where he lived, as he didn't, as I said, he doesn't live with the Third Hokage in, in the Third Hokage's Hokage mansion, but he does live in the Saratobi compound. As he walks in, the Saratobis will be surprised that the barrier didn't stop him, which means that there was only one other person that they knew who this was. That, that that this barrier could would let pass, and that was Naruto Uzumaki. When they connected the dots, they'd be like, "Oh, Naruto, you finally returned." We'd all wonder. We had all thought you died or disappeared. The Okage had told us that you had left for training. As Naruto was smiling before asking where Konohamaru was, as they say that he currently be at the park, well, at the um, at the academy currently um undergoing his training. And Naruto will say that he'll pick him up from there later before heading to his um, to his own small house, as he'd um, prepare and would go get Konohamaru where they hang out. And Naruto teach Konohamaru uh, the shadow code technique, along with a new technique that he learned from Jiraiya. So. I'm mean, we time skip about like a week's time and Naruto is at the academy waiting with the rest of everyone who wonders who he is for who he's going to be on a team with. We could go through the names of the other teams before getting to Team 7. As you say, Sakura Haruno, Sasuke Uchiha, and is very surprised by the last name as he had not seen that person in over five years. Naruto Uzumaki. Now, everyone wondered what happened to Naruto. They all knew he took the graduation exam five years ago and apparently failed it. He took it a lot earlier than everyone and apparently failed it. I wonder what happened to Naruto, only to hear that he was graduating with him, that he had been placed on a team with Sasuke and Sakura. They all looked around where Naruto was, but the only suspicious person here was Logan. They look at him as Logan would say, Yo. And Sasuke will look at Naruto again. Naruto, over time, Sasuke and um, Logan did separate paths, paths because of Sasuke's thirst for vengeance and everything else. So, 
it wouldn't really matter. It doesn't really matter whether or not they're friends or Sasuke. Anonato awakened his own mutant abilities. Sasuke was quite, I'm not furious, but was jealous of Naruto because Naruto seemed to have awakened his own bloodline while he couldn't awaken his own bloodline, especially the night of his clan massacre. That was a part of the reason, but due to him being consumed by vengeance, him and Naruto split apart and slowly began to develop a hatred. Not looking towards Sasuke, but Sasuke towards Naruto. Across Naruto's new powers, he was a lot stronger and faster than everyone else. And his senses were uncanny. Similar to that of the Inazuka, except a lot better. <clears throat> As everyone's surprised that Naruto's back, and apparently Naruto is that guy who rode on in that weird um, machine, that weird thing back in Konoha. Everyone be shocked and surprised to to speak as Iruka calms and down and continues. Now, after this, eventually, um, everyone since they would come up, and three years, three years later, <laughs> three hours later, Kakashi would arrive and take his team. He would, and um, once on the roof, they would all ask for their goals, names, and dislikes, likes and dislikes. And it goes relatively the same, except for, well, Logan is relatively the same. He does still like ramen, except he's not as, like, broadcasting it as much as Naruto would. He says he, his likes are ramen. He really does hate the three minutes that it does take for ramen, along with the fact that he has any hands to smell, saying that being around prepubescent girls going through puberty is weird, especially with a nose like this, because Kakashi's eyes were white, and along with Sakura is Sasuke's. As um, Naruto continues, he says his goal is to become the Hokage. To take up the legacy left him by his father. Which Kakashi knows who Naruto's father is and is surprised that Naruto knows who his father is. So, the next day, well, after this, Kakashi would respond to them about the Guinean exam. He tells them to meet him at the training ground for a survival. No, I'm not a Guinean exam. He would explain that they have a mission tomorrow, which is a survival mission. And two come tomorrow, also not to eat breakfast. So, the next day when they all arrived, Naruto, who had already eaten, Logan, who had eaten at this point, would be waiting for Kakashi, realizing that he'd take another three hours, would decide to train a bit. Training his abilities as Jirai had taught him much, and due to, over time, his strength and speed increasing to new levels, compared to what much higher degree, Compared to that of what it once was in his past life as Logan, Logan would begin kicking tre through trees, lifting trees, like ripping them out of the ground and throwing them, even using them as sort of weights and like, you know, in little work at him. As Kazashi arrives three hours later, as Logan, who's worked up a bit of a sweat, but not too much, um, with Kakashi, it took him to, it took him a long time to get here to make sure it doesn't happen again. Before everyone watches Naruto's claws, um, well, what they known as his bone bone claws would come out, but they were no longer bones. They were like a foot and a half, if not a foot and um, like a close to a foot and a half, and length with some sort of metal like claws. They were surprised by this as they never, no one knew Naruto's claws had changed. Kikashi would tell look at Naruto, be surprised that he threatened him. But would say he tried not to, even though we all know Kakashi would not listen. So, as um, Kakashi explains the bell test, he eventually tells them that they have to noon before starting it. But Logan immediately would begin running into towards Kakashi with his enhanced speed, which Kakashi would not be prepared for. As um, since Kakashi isn't prepared for this, he he quickly um and has his books out. Logan would place a. a Nice kick into Kakashi, sending him to this, um, like, literally rum um, tumbling to the side into the ground, even like a sort of indent in the ground, like from every part of your head. Like, you know, when you roll into the ground and leave like a sort of line that shows like you've been digging in a straight line going, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm trying to explain. 
Hikashi would get up quite surprised only to see Naruto coming down with his claws out. Hikashi would immediately jump out of the way only to realize where Naruto had striked a crater had formed, a very big crater at that. As Hikashi would jump back saying, oh, this kid's crazy, before um, rushing towards Naruto with the kunai trying to cut his claws. But he realized only that instead of cutting his claws, his kunai had shattered against it. He'd be surprised. As Naruto gave off a feral like grin before rushing towards Kakashi and plunging a claw into his shoulder. Kakashi would then reveal to be a log as Sasuke would decide that enough was enough and jump in, performing a fireball technique, which Naruto would grab Kakashi. Kakashi wondered what Naruto was doing as Naruto separated him from his hand, separated both of his hands from each other as his grip was extremely strong, actually. As um, him and Kakashi would be engulfed by the flames, mostly Naruto, but Kakashi would be hit enough as they launched into the tree line. Crashing through multiple trees, Kakashi would immediately have um, gotten out of Naruto's grip to take Naruto over, to, only to notice Naruto's injuries healing quite easily, only leaving burn marks on his clothes. As he'd get up before revealing to Kakashi the bells, Kakashi would congratulate Naruto and Sasuke for working together. But would fail them due to um, them not getting the purpose of the... Well, no, no, no. He would say that that Sakura didn't pass. And would tell them not to feed Sakura as he ties her up to a um, a tree, a log. But they would, and Kakashi would pass them immediately after. And from here, we time skip about four months, three weeks. Again, like I do with everyone else. Because it's, it's, it's from the start of... The belt from the time I graduated from the academy to the time of the training exams is approximately six months. So, <clears throat> with that, that means that they're in the academy for um they're doing D ranks for about four and a half weeks, right? Like four and a half um four and a half months, if not four months and three weeks, and then they go to wave where they're there for another month and have like a week or two weeks and time for the tuning exams. So, yeah. <clears throat> Anyways. Anyways, as we move on, um, after doing D ranks for so long, Logan had had enough, telling the old man that he want he didn't want to do them anymore, telling him to give him a hard direct mission. Now, due to Garaya's um mission report on how strong Naruto is gotten. He was in with humor Naruto, giving them a C rank mission, telling them that they'll be escorting a bridge builder. Before introducing them to Taz. After introducing them to Tazana <clears throat> and everything. Team seven. Um and like going through introductions with him, team seven with the park. Naruto on his motorcycle and everyone else walking. Kakashi would ask Naruto what is this thing that he's on, and he's finding that it's called a motorcycle, and it runs on chakra, using it as fuel. Kakashi would ask where did he get it, he said he built it himself when he was around 5 to 6, with the help of the Hokage, because the machine parts, they were a bit too heavy, along with, um, with, uh, with building each individual part was a bit tricky. Kakashi would ask how would he learn to build a thing like this, and he said he doesn't know. It just came to him in a dream as he lied. And he thought she would understand before telling Naruto, and he would love to ride it, but Naruto would shake his head saying that he doesn't plan on making more or giving anyone else the blueprints because they wouldn't understand it. Along with the fact is that he doesn't feel like teaching anyone how to operate it or ride it. As the blueprints are made in English, and we do know that the Shinobi of Konoha speak a Japanese-like language. So, <clears throat> it'd be a bit hard, bit hard for them, as everyone in the um, in Naruto's world speaks Japanese in essence, if you really were to look at it. So, as they continue on their way, Logan riding ahead of everyone, he'd come across a puddle. Stopping right in front of the puddle, the two brothers would realize they'd be caught and would go to attack him. Scratching his motorcycle, which would cause Logan to be really angry. As Logan would cut the chains off with his own claws before rushing to two brothers 
at I say low zoning to mid tuning um, to high tuning level speeds, not um shattering one's own face with a single punch, sending him flying before bringing out his claws and shoving it at one's stomach, causing him to fall to the ground dead, and the other dead also due to the impact along with his you know his entire skull being broken. Hakashi finding um, when they came across Naruto after this, they be extremely shocked that the strength Naruto exhibited Sasuke more or less over everyone else, as he never knew Naruto was this strong. As Logan needing to calm down, would we'll, we'll put a cigar in his mouth before lighting it with a lighter. As he began, um, you know, smoking and everything, he began to calm down a bit. Before getting back on his motorcycle and 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 adding tackle to it to the self repairing seals that Jiraiya had placed on it, and the motor, watching the motorcycle repair itself, as he ride off towards the boat to wave, once there he he wouldn't seal it away because due to the seals on it and it running on chakra, using a chakra control exercise which was the water walking. And adding some more of the tree walking to it, he'd actually be able to ride his motorcycle on water, which he did find quite interesting and did do when in wave and everywhere else. When well, when in um when traveling with Jiraiya, was they went to the hidden mist village and around everything and everything else. So as he rode alongside everyone and would land himself into wave before the boat would, he'd wait for them, noticing two indistinct smells around. He picked them up in front of him and would throw a kunai with such power and speed that it would actually graze the cheek, not the cheek, but would take, um, well, yeah, would graze the cheek, splitting it open um, of an, a ninja, and along with their mask as they was hunky. The, he When he go to take it out ahead of everyone else arriving, he find a bunny who had, with, along, with alongside a broken piece of mask and blood on it. He wondered who was here and why was they using a bunny to replace themselves? Why was the bunny's fur ice? Or was it like that of a snow bunny, unless he was in a cold climate? And the only bloodlines he knew of that could, you know, sort of produce this result would be the bloodline in Kiri, known as the Ice Reliefs. But they were all wiped out as far as he knew. When Kakashi and them would arrive, Logan um, would begin to hear something. He hear a whizzing sound as he tell them all to duck as he would grab Tazuna bringing him down to the ground along with his own motorcycle as Zabuza would say, so I missed. Before pointing at Naruto saying that you will pay for that. As Naruto wondered if it was Zabuza's mask that he was that he had cut as he couldn't really test the blood. But when he smelled the blood as, as he had it on his finger, he noticed that it was not the same as Zabuza's. The scent that Zabuza gave, gave off. As he still away his motorcycle before telling Zabuza that whoever was working with him needs to come out now. Zabuza says he works alone before rushing towards Naruto. Bringing out his um, claws, he clashed with Zabuza. Zabuza surprised as Naruto would begin cutting through the executioner's blade. As Zabuza would bring the blade black, he'd be back, he'd be surprised when Naruto had brought an uppercut but with the claws. As he cut open, like the bottom part of his where his chin was, close to his neck. This would leave a scar, he knew. He jumped back, waiting for Naruto, but Naruto had seemingly disappeared. Naruto appeared behind him with a devastating kick to the back of the head, sending Zabuza away. Zabuza, who had um, sort of, um, I wouldn't say resorted in a broken spine or like neck, because they'd take a lot longer than like a week to heal. I say he um he'd be doing a lot of damage as he slowly began to get up. Naruto was walking towards him, would be about to stab his um his claws through Zabuza's heart when three Sinmon would hit his neck. As a hunter then, as Logan would notice, has a cracked mask and would along with a blood like stain on their face would appear, would grab Zabuza before thanking him and disappearing quickly. Logan would curse, saying, God damn it. I let him get away. Uh, Kakashi would ask Naruto what was that about. 
Like, yeah, obviously he knew Zabuza was going to be here and wanted to jump in, but couldn't because it seemed as if Naruto had it handled. As Naruto would explain that the person that he had attacked um, was the person he had attacked earlier, an accomplice of Zabuza, and they got away. So as they eventually arrive at um, Tazuna's house, they meet Tsunami, Nanari, and I'd say relatively goes the same, except for the fact Naruto doesn't learn... Um, what tree walking nor water walking. He practices on adding chakra natures to his um his two chakra natures which are wind, lightning, and fire to his claws. Yes, he could enhance his claw strength and cutting power with his own chakra, but to enhance them even further with wind chakra, along with even lightning chakra, would be a lot better, along with fire at least making them a lot harder, doing a lot more damage internally. But, well, I wouldn't say eternally, but we're doing a lot more damage by cauterizing the wounds as he sliced through opponents. <clears throat> as the week goes by, Naruto, Logan does not even go through the same meeting with Haku this time, but he does still have the same ideals as canon Naruto does, which were to protect his precious people, is how could he grow stronger without having anything precious to protect. He, got, he gained that perspective on his own in this timeline. So... In this what if. So with that, with no meeting Kaku when Logan is oversleeping one day at the house when he hears two when he hears a bunch of crashing from downstairs and hears Inari shouting shouting, Stay away from my mom, he immediately gets out of the out of bed and dresses quite quickly. Before I'm um, rushing downstairs with his claws out as he sees two men attacking tsunami. Appearing behind the two men, he stabs his claws through their backs and out the front of their bodies. The two men would drop fall to the ground in a pool of blood as he bring as he burned them with a quick fireball technique, or with the fire release technique. Anyways, <clears throat> as he continued, um, he tells Tsunam in our good job protecting his mother before ruffling his hair and leaving, heading towards the bridge where he sneak into Haku's ice dome. When Haku would go to attack Naruto after noticing he was in, he realized when the needles pierced Naruto's skin, they popped out after, immediately after, and it seemed as if when they pierced what would be bone, it sounded like metal clashing with metal, which surprised Haku to no end. How could Naruto have an ability such as that? As Naruto would constantly begin um pelted with Simbon and them constantly being sprung from his body due to his body regenerating or his healing factor more or less. Um, Logan would have enough before um, tapping into the Kyuubi's power, something Jiraiya had taught him to do as everyone noticed that Naruto's hands began to grow fingernail-like protrusions. Well, his fingernails would elongate his claws too before gaining a sort of like energy bubble around it as Naruto accessed his one-tailed state as if it was a lot stronger than his initial state that Naruto would have accessed in canon. As you see Haku quite clearly as Haku seems to be moving in slow motion to, due to the speed increase into his own um, due to this ability due to the Cubist Chakra. He'd be able to punch Haku's mask shattering it before he grabbed Haku and would shove his um and would bring out his claws, bringing one down close to where it wouldn't be piercing while the other two are like on the side of Haku's and the one of them is close to piercing the skin. As Logan would tell Haku to give up, but Haku would say never. As Logan was sorry before saying that he was sorry before elongating the other one, the middle um claw to its full length, piercing through Haku's brain. As Haku would fall to the ground, now dead, Logan would turn around to see Kakashi about to be cut by Zabuza, telling Sasuke to um, throw him as Meri. No, I'm not gonna have that. He tells Sasuke to launch a fireball at towards Z Zabuza, as Sasuke, who barely has enough chakra, does so using the fireball technique, which would use up all his chakra, only for Logan to use amplify with a wind with the wind bullet technique, sending it even faster and harder at Zabuza. Zabuza would have to jump back, aborting his attack on Kakashi. As Naruto would rush towards Kakashi, he told Kakashi he had this now to check on Sasuke. 
as Kakashi would do so, he'd fall back as Naruto would begin fighting Zabuza. And to be honest, he'd take care of this relatively easy as Zabuza had been worn down by Kakashi. Landing a bunch of sh um, claw, uh, bunch of slashes with his claws, he would eventually end it with a devastating uppercut with no claws into Zabuza's chin. Zabuza would fall to the ground, now unconscious, with a lot of wounds on his body as they, from the mist clearing, they'd hear clapping, revealing it to be none other than Gato. Gato had now appeared, ready to take them all on. Telling his man that whoever killed the ninja would get and kill Zabuza as he knew he was just unconscious more than likely but would die if his wounds were aggravated would get a raise. As all the men rushed towards them, a bunch of civilians from Wave would join Naruto as Naruto elongates his claws and rushes towards the men, cutting through as many as possible until he reached Gato. As he grabbed Gato before he could run away, before bringing him in front of the people away before shoving his fist, not his claws, his fist through Gato's gut all the way through his back and breaking his spine where he had came out at. As everyone watches Gato would fall to the ground now dead, they would all begin to cheer. Some, you know, throwing up because they'd never seen a man kill someone like this. <clears throat> but it would cheer nonetheless. All happy with the developments of what's happened so far. They all celebrate for a couple of days before the bridge was completed three weeks later. And with the completion of the bridge closes out the wave arc. As we move on to Konoha, I'm heading back to Konoha three weeks later again, like I said. Um, so it comes down to this final month closer into the tuning exams. And with this... Once arriving in Konoha, given their mission report, they'd be given a week off. And at the end of that week, they'd learn of the tuning exams. Now, Naruto, who had learned of this, had already decided that he would participate in his first tuning exams and would more than likely try and would more than likely want to graduate. Um, not graduate, would want to be promoted. So he'd obviously tell Kakashi that there was no point that he just turned his in now and be at the um, tuning exams. Um, if his team was going to join them. Now, Kakashi did put in a special request that if Sasuke or Sakura didn't join Naruto, Naruto would be able to take it by himself. And that request was approved. If you really were to think about it, Naruto taking the Junior Zells by himself would probably be best. But I'd have him do it on uh, with the team to keep it more similar to canon. Because otherwise, he doesn't run into Orochimaru, doesn't get his chakra sealed off, doesn't really, um, and everything else really. So, but I really do want to stick close to the story. And unless I was to make him super OP, which he already is considerably OP due to Logan's abilities being essentially amped to tremendous heights by the QB's chakra. <clears throat> so, one day, um, after going to the academy, Naruto would actually be traveling around through the towns outside of Konoha when these two men in cloaks would approach him and say Naruto Uzumaki, right? As he said, yes, they go, one man will try to slash his bike with some weird like bandaged sword only for him to bring out his claws and to stop it there. As he sealed away his bike asking, saying, what's up? What's your problem, bub? As the man says, huh? What's a bub? As Logan a bit agitated asks, what is your problem? What do you want? As he said, come with us, Naruto. Naruto asked, who are you? Why do you look like an older version of Sasuke? Well, not really, but why do you look like Sasuke? As he noticed, he also had the Sharingan. As he remembered that night, you. As he rushed towards Itachi with his claws out, cutting where Itachi's head once was, only for it to be revealed what he had cut actually was a clone. As Itachi, a bunch of crows were scattered from where he had cut, to reveal Itachi behind him. Itachi would try to place him in a Genjutsu. Itachi, kind of forgetting of what happened the last time, would place Naruto in a Genjutsu that would knock him out. But it would be shocked when Naruto's claws began to recede, causing him just enough pain, but not a lot, to jolt him out of the Genjutsu. As he re let his claws grow back, they didn't really go in all the way, but he let him go back out. Telling Kitachi Genjutsu won't work too much on me. 
as he rushed towards Itachi before landing devastating hits with Itachi. Itachi would be surprised by his um, speed along with his, the power behind his punch, comparing it, saying that it might be comparable to that of Tsunade, if not either Waikalia in terms of power of, um, power of his punches. As Naruto would land a kick to Itachi's chin, sending him back as Kisame would go to attack, as he had learned that's what his name was. Only for um, Logan to hold his blade up with one clawed hand and to slash Kisame's stomach with the other. Kis dealing considerable damage as the attack was infused, as his claws were infused with wind chakra, which means he was cutting through the bandages in Samihara, which was beginning to scream in pain or like shriek in pain. Along with uh, Kisame having very deep wounds, Itachi would have to call a retreat, saying that Naruto was simply too dangerous. And tell Naruto that the Akatsuki would be coming after him sometime soon, as he was too dangerous to be left out to roam. And to grow stronger. He decided to head back to Konoha to tell Hiruzuna what happened. So when he goes back to Konoha and tells Hiruzuna what happened, Hiruzuna would be surprised that Itachi had attacked Naruto, as Itachi had not told him that he would be attacking him, but it must not, he must have come across him again if he did. He told Naruto a good job defending himself against two S-ranked ninjas before telling Naruto it was quite reckless and the next time try to retreat if possible. Before Logan would nod, before saying that they didn't really give him an option of retreat because they attacked immediately, but he understands what the old man is saying. As he even tells him now he has the tuner, Logan decides to stay in Konoha for those days, not wanting to be attacked again, and prepare for the tuning exam. So when he heads there one day, <clears throat> after the tuning exams and everything, he eventually would um, meet with Sasuke and they would head in. Along with Sakura, they would head in. They would come across the Genjutsu floor. Before with the Kenjutsu on it, come across Rock Lee, the Gate Guards, all of those things were happening as it did in canon, with Logan not even trying to fight Sasuke. I mean, not uh, Rock Lee, as he didn't really see a point and would leave ahead of time. As he wait, Kakashi would ask Naruto if he was by himself, saying that if he was, he was allowed to go. As Naruto said, Sasuke and Sakura were behind, saying that, oh, well, I guess it gives you an added insurance policy of passing his exams, I believe in you. As Logan would say yes and say, I get it, I guess. Before moving on, as he walked in ahead of everyone, so Naruto entered, everyone would wonder, was he really by himself, thinking that he'd be easy pickings, pickings, um, pick, pickings, pickings. Dang, I really can't speak English. Oh my God. Anyways, <clears throat> easy pickings. As he's by himself, only for Sasuke and Sakura to run in and yell at him for leaving them. And Naruto said it wasn't his fault that Sasuke decided to challenge someone before the exams. As they continue on, eventually the, they start the first exam, which I'm going to skip over and go straight into the second. And to be honest, it relatively stays the same. Logan actually doesn't make, he does make a smart re remark, which does cause Anku to try and throw a kunai at him. Only for him to bat it away with a claw from his finger, uh, from his knuckles. As he tell Anko to not do that again, as they in get their scrolls and would enter the forest of death. <clears throat> so it would actually be while in the forest of death that Logan would be attacked after leaving Sasuke and Sakura to go use the restroom. Well, he was closing in on Sakura and Sakura when uh, Sasuke and Sakura when they were attacked by Wind Blast, a great breakthrough technique as he recognized it. Sent away, he'd come across a giant summons. It was a snake summon. And he wondered, was that man really here? And so he needed to get to Sasuke and Sakura before he did. As Naruto would kill the snake, Logan would kill the snake immediately with a well-placed claw strike going down the snake's belly before red running off at top speeds, meeting up with Orochimaru, clashing with his with Orochimaru's head as he had gone to attack uh, with Orochimaru's fist as he'd gone to attack Sasuke. Orochimaru's fist would hurt as he had come across this, essentially what was an indestructible skeletal punch from like an indestructible skeletal figure or skeleton 
from Naruto's fist. So the bones and knuckles, everything was uh, was literally covered in um, adamantium. So it was quite hard in terms of durability and um, how hard his knuckles and things hurt. And I couldn't really explain it too well. I'm literally really, I'm not tired, but exhausted. I really need to get some coffee. And that's not the point. <clears throat> As we continue, Orochimaru will say, My, my, you must be Naruto, the Nine Tails in Cherokee. Z said, Yeah. Z said, I heard of your special abilities, and I want your body too. Logan will say, Look at him saying, That doesn't sound right. As Orochimaru says, But it sounds exactly how I said it. As Logan will tell Sasuke, They need to go now, because if they face him, he doesn't think, he knows he most definitely will not win. While he's not saying, He's, he says that he admits he's most definitely closer to the upper echelons in Shinobi, maybe like closer to Jonin in terms of overall skill and power. But this man is Asani, somewhere he, someone he's not come close to beating at all, beating at all yet. Telling Sasuke that they need to retreat, as Sasuke would tell him no. But Orochimaru would, begin, would tell Sasuke he can offer him power. Sasuke, a little bit intrigued by it, would come towards Orochimaru as Logan would try would attack him, but it would be too late as Orochimaru had bit him with the curse mark, causing Sasuke pain. Only for Logan to come in with a fireball to send Orochimaru back. And as he then went um wide out with a lightning release, lightning strike technique against Orochimaru, sort of um not paralyzing him but piercing through his stomach. Only for Rojimaru to regurgitate himself, telling Naruto that he'd see him later and he'd get his body later also, before disappearing, saying that his main objective had been completed. Logan would pick up Sasuke, but before he could, when he turned around, he'd be surprised as Rojimaru said, Did you really think I'd leave you, al leave you alone walking around with that power at your beck and call? Before placing his fingers on Naruto's abdomen, using the five element seal on Naruto. Logan, a lot more weakened, would be only strong enough in willpower to hold on to carry Sasuke, and only walking to Sak with Sakura to a hidden tree, to a tree with a sort where that's ho a hollow tree where he hide away. And after placing Sasuke down, would pass out. Sakura would be surprised, saying that she thought Naruto was fine, but apparently not. That whoever that person, or Orochimaru as he called him, must be really strong. Must have done a number on Naruto. Anyways, with this now happening, we see Naruto, um, eventually will wake up. We're not really focused on anyone else in the story. We're focusing on Naruto. <clears throat> not the point anyway. So, Naruto. <clears throat> Naruto, when he awakened, he'd see Sasuke was attacking some random nin. Logan would be surprised, but was still a lot more... Not, it's not that his powers were cut in half. No, his mutant abilities were the same as they always are. But his chakra was really taking... Missing a lot of his chakra, along with his control, was really taking a huge toll on his body. When rushing towards Sasuke, he knocked Sasuke out with a well-placed punch to the face, sending Sasuke into a bunch of trees as he grabbed... Dosu or Zaku before cutting off one of his arms, telling him that that was punishment for attacking his teammate, but before telling him to leave the scroll and to get on. As Dosu grabs Zaku, leaving, not even trying to retrieve Zaku's arm, Naruto will pick up the arm, sealing it away. As um, <clears throat> as Logan would tell Sakura to pick Sasuke up. As Neji would come and retrieve Lee before trying to threaten him from their scroll, only for Logan to tell Neji he may not have out as much chakra as he normally does, but he can still whoop him. That he, he he still Neji would not be able to hang with him in a straight out fight, and he knows this. Neji would narrow his eyes before telling Kitenten and them to leave as Naruto summons his bike and gets on and telling Sakura to place place Sasuke on the um on the back of the bike. 
along with her to get on as they ride away towards the towers with now with the three scrolls that even met up with Team Ten on the way. As Naruto and them would make it to the tower, not even meeting up with Kabuto as they not Logan didn't really trust him as his instincts were screaming at him to stay away from the man, not because he was dangerous, but because he couldn't be trusted. <clears throat> so when um Naruto and then we'll make it to the tower before reading the scrolls. Logan will tell them to throw it away. As Iruka would appear from the scrolls, telling them congratulations and bringing them into the tower. Now, not having to rest, that I believe they rested an extra day after the fact of um, Sasuke retreating, um, waking up from receiving his curse mark. And actually have a day to rest and to be prepared for the, the next portion of the exams. The preliminaries, as they learned. As the Hokage had gathered all the past and Genin teams and told them that this was no longer a team effort. Which caused some Genin to give up, which was more or less Kabuto. I'm pretty sure others did. It's just Kabuto was the most important. As they go on to explain the rules of the preliminaries, they then get into the matches. Sasuke versus Yoru. I think that's how you say his name. Yoru Okada. It's something. I know it's Yoru something. Um, <clears throat> Naruto versus Kiba and Sakura versus you know. Now Sasuke versus Yoru is a lot more difficult on Yoru's part due to the fact that Sasuke is a lot stronger than Canon so than um Canon's twelve year old Sasuke. And Yoru's getting up there in age, even though he's like older, he's closing in towards his prime, but yet is still as hiding as a getting causes him to is it being a getting spy causes Yoru to lessen his strength a lot, causing him to and sort of suppress his own power in a way in which he can't undo it now. So Sasuke, who's a lot more stronger than what his twelve year old self would have been, defeats him quite easily. When it comes to Naruto versus Kiba, Naruto takes Kiba out. Um, um, based since Naruto's senses are a lot better than even Kiba's, uh, he'd be able to differentiate these which one was Akamura and which one was Kiba, and would be able to swiftly take Akamura out of the equation before play. Um, before when Kiba would try to use his own the the, the Fang technique, which is just the single version of the Fang over Fang, he'd light Kiba on fire with a fireball technique, not even using his mutant abilities as Kiba would fall to the ground trying to put the flames out he'd eventually um, be put him out but would be severely injured to where um, Hayate would call the match in Naruto's favor and Naruto Sakura versus Eno you know, does I'm, I'm still going to have it end in a tie I did want to have Sakura in the finals but no I'm just going to have it end in a tie with um them both drawing. So, as the rest of the matches go by, Naruto does get his his opponent, Neji Hyuga. Now, Neji would say once a, Naruto was a failure, as he remembered Naruto was one of those guineas who was a year below him who had taken the guinea exams early. And he also knew Naruto was the only one who took the guinea exams early that failed. So he called him a failure. And says that his destiny was his fate was to lose to him, which did anger Logan to no end. This kid talking about fate and destiny as if he knew it personally. As they continue on, they'd eventually leave, and Logan would be getting training with Jiraiya for the month time skip rather than even going to Kakashi or Ebisu, as he could smell him within Konoha. So he'd find him quite easily in Jiraiya, they would continue training. With Naruto increasing his repertoire of ninjutsus, along with increasing his ability with certain jutsus. And over time, over the month time skip, Naruto's increased a lot, and even had that seal removed off of his stomach, causing his chakra to go back to normal levels, if not higher. Um, Everyone would uh, um he'd be quite prepared for the finals. And we talk um once we get to the end of the month, we see Naruto now in the stadium, waiting for the proctor to start his match versus Neji. And Sasuke had yet to arrive. 
you could see all the pe- people in the stand wondering whether or not Neji was going to beat Naruto. As he was labeled the dead last due to him, you know, going out essentially on a training trip. So, and when Neji, when the party will start the match, and Neji will begin to talk, Logan will take this opportunity to, to send Neji into a wall, telling Neji to never talk during the fight before rushing towards him. As Neji was here, he began to spin using the rotation technique, coming across Logan's own adamantium claws, trying to stab into him. Now, it would release a bunch of sparks from the rotation in the adamantium claws, clashing, sending Naruto back as he rushed towards Neji again. But, but Neji kind of had a cooldown between the rotation. And Naruto was too fast for him to come back, so Naruto would be able to place a kick, sending Neji even deeper into the wall where he had just crashed. As Logan would appear, Stabbing his claws through Neji's shoulder, pinning him to the wall before delivering a bunch of kicks and punches along with knees to Neji's body. By the time he was done, Neji was a mess and could no longer continue. He was simply too fast for Neji's type due to for Neji to even keep up with, and even in close range, Neji couldn't hope and hoped turn to tank all of his attacks or none of them in, in any case of the matter. Everyone would cheer saying that while the match was short, it was it was quite the match. <clears throat> they were all surprised by Naruto's in, um strength being so um Naruto's strength is so high. Um, they was all surprised by Naruto essentially what it seems like had a sort of super strength technique or was just strong naturally. Which is technique naturally I mean by his body was just this strong and could throw punches and kicks that were strong enough to do this. This is what I mean. So with Neji now taken care of, Naruto would head to the stands where he talked to Shikamaru and even come across Gar. But Gar doesn't scare Wolverine. No, he no comes nowhere near to um, scaring the mighty feared Wolverine. <clears throat> so as move on, Sasuke would have been um, the matches really go as canon. There's really nothing that changes. Everyone's a lot stronger than what their 12-year-old self was, but it still goes pretty much the same. So when Sasuke arrives and faces Gara, even learns that Shidori to use against him and uses it, and Gara goes into the Shikaku state after going into that dome of, that like, circle, oval or circle, spear of sand, and dome of sand, spear, spear, um, spear dome of sand or whatever, and essentially almost breaking Sasuke's arm, or if I think he did break it, and then the, the invasion, when the invasion starts, Naruto be hella confused. He's like, how did all this, what did, what's happened? Like, just a minute ago, Sasuke just placed on a well-placed lightning jutsu into Gara's shoulder. And now, he is the, everyone was placed, he was placed within a sleeping in jutsu, which he woke up immediately from. So he'd be a bit confused about what was happening. Anyways, as they move on, Nar- um, well, as Naruto would jump down to go after Gar- um towards the arena, Gara had already left with Sasuke, and Gemma had given him orders to go um assist Sasuke, as Gemma said that he knew Sasuke wouldn't be able to take on the Jinchuriki by himself, that not he Naruto would need to help him. So that's exactly what he'd do. He rushed after Sasuke, and eventually. Kakashi was sent back up in the terms of Shino, Shikamaru, and Sakura. I'd even say maybe Choji or Kiba. I actually say Kiba, be to replace Naruto of the group to help them a lot, a lot more. <clears throat> so when Naruto catches up with Sasuke, which is a lot sooner, he actually is there when Sasuke first confronts Gara and brings Sasuke out of the way. As he noticed Sasuke's curse mark had begun to act up, as he tells Sasuke that he needs to step out of this battle, and he had handled this from now, and to not worry. As he rushed towards Gara, and um, before calling upon the QB's chakra, entering his chakra cloak, he had essentially land a well placed hit against Gara. Gara 
Garo would be extremely surprised that Naruto could hit him still even though and even more surprised that Naruto was like him a Jinchuriki. Naruto would tell Gara he's nothing special before bringing out his own claws. As Gara would use his essence to um one tailed enhanced arm, which is essentially a tanuki arm made of sand to attack, Naruto would cut through it with a wind and wind enhanced claws, with his wind enhanced claws, as he tell Gara to take this before appearing behind Gara before saying Uzum um the Konoha secret technique a thousand years of pain before shoving a it's not even with the um Secret Taijutsu attack, not finger attack. Secret Taijutsu, even though it's not a Taijutsu now, due to what Naruto's doing, he'd make a Rasengan and shove it up where Gara's tail is, sending Gara into the sky as Logan would appear in front of him before, um, would appear below him with a bunch of clones as they kick him up into the sky as another bunch of back to clones to kick Gara into the sky. As they yep, um, called out Uzumaki Barrage, Logan had came up with the name, something a bit original of this world, and would land a punch that would send Gara down to the ground. But the punch would unfortunately knock Gara out, causing Shukaku to take control and to be formed. Naruto seeing the problem, he would go through hand size, along with what well, would make a shadow clone before going through hand size. As the two of them yell out, Summoning Jutsu. One has summoned Gama Ken and the other and the original Naruto summoned Gama Bunta. As he tells them that they he needed their help to take on the one tails. They gladly helped now that um they both that Gama Bunta would gladly gladly help Naruto due to the fact is that he's known Naruto for a long time, along with the fact that he has help with facing Kabiji. And with the two of them distracting Shikaku, Logan is able to land on Shikaku's head and to knock to hit Gara, waking him up, and is actually able to shock Gara awake, causing Shikaku to disperse, screaming about the fact that he just came out as Naruto and Gara fall to the ground. As they're falling, Gara begin trying to attack Naruto, but Naruto placing a bunch of punches into Gara's body, which sent Gara to the ground a lot harder than, than normal as Naruto would land with his knees on Gara's gut now. As Logan would get up, seeing Gara had been taken care of, as he'd gone to go to kill him, well, not to kill him, but to capture him, to bring him, and you know, to at least answer for what he's done, Tamari and the others would come and would take Gara away. Logan would smile before saying, I guess you now have people who can prove your resistance, huh, Gara? Your family loves you very much. I feel like you should love them too. Now, Gara did pick up on this and was surprised at Naruto's words as his siblings took him away. As Logan would head back into Konoha, where he continued while facing against Sound and Sanin, cutting them up as he pleased with the help of Sasuke. Now, Sakura and Shikamaru, uh, Sakura, K uh, Kiba did arrive a bit too late, so by the time they arrived, Naruto was heading back. To, I mean, Sasuke had already left and was heading back into Konoha. So yeah, <clears throat> I think um, with the as we time skip it, we see now see that the invasion has now passed with Konoha coming out on top, still standing, having driven away driven away both Suna and Sal or Odo, as they stood no chance against the mighty village. Naruto would um after this battle um. Would learn of after the battle then would learn from Jiraiya of Hiruzen's death. Now Jiraiya would tell Naruto that he would love to make him he would he would love had that they had picked a new Hakage, say that he would have loved to nominate him, but Naruto needs a lot more power besides just his, his own abilities from his Keke Genkai as he calls them. As well what everyone else in this world calls them. And you know, so he needs a lot more experience from just using just his kick and get kind. And Logan will say that he guess he agrees. Before Gerard would tell him to pack his bags because they'll be departing in a couple of days after the funeral to go retrieve the fifth Hokage. Logan will raise his eyes before saying fine. And after the funeral, they would leave Konoha a couple of days later. So a couple of days later after the funeral, they would leave Konoha. <clears throat> 
Now, now that they're gone, now I'm told I'm looking with eyes. Who are they looking for exactly? And does he have anything that will let them track her, track its, track the, their smell? And I know who it is. I was right. We said yes. He bring out a cloth which says that this was hers. I was looking. You can get a sniff before saying that he has a faint scent. He can smell it. It's faint, but it's north. And they'll head there. They should head there. As Jiraiya nods, he, when they when he realizes where they're heading, he's saying we're heading to Tanzukai Town, Tanzukai Town, Tanzukai Town, the gambling town. Telling Naruto that thankfully they didn't have to stop at that end because Jiraiya was not distracted by that girl because Itachi didn't attack this time. I got I got over that part earlier during this break in between the tuning exams and after the wave. <clears throat> So with Itachi no longer calling the Koski not attacking him this time, they're actually able to get to the town a lot sooner than even Orochimaru is able to get to Sanade. And is able to talk and even be able to um even come up with their bet with a bet that Naruto would not be able to add um I wanna say fire chakra to his claws, which Sunade had learned that he had. And that's what Logan would be making would be talking about. Uh, so now they wouldn't meet with Orochimaru during this time, but Jiraiya would drive him away, telling Tsunade that she had no reason to talk to Orochimaru. Tsunade would try to tell him that he had no business but again, but Jiraiya would say he had every bit of business because Orochimaru is an enemy to Konoha. And if she, if she tried to reason, continue to reason with him of t- her talking to him, she'd kill, he'd kill her himself. So then he might not want to, but he'd do it. <clears throat> so, with um, this not happening, Jiraiya would take, um, and Tsunade would chill at a bar, and a couple of days later, Naruto would come to the two of them, as again, like I said, he drove, um, Jiraiya had, with the, had drove in Orochimaru away, as he got to Tsunade a lot quick, faster than uh, Canon, and then Orochimaru could get to her. Naruto would come to Tsunade, showing that he could add, add Spire Chakra to his uh, claws, and was able to cauterize wounds as he sliced through people by showing it against Tsunade, who had decided to volunteer herself. And she was probably the only person who could take this and essentially heal herself. And with Naruto demonstrating on herself, she had, it actually helped her with her own hemophobia, and Naruto and Logan have won her necklace. Now, for here, they head back to Konoha, where um, it's revealed that the sound of four, I'm going to have Sasuke leave a lot earlier, that while they were gone, Sasuke had left the village going ha- and had left to go join Orochimaru, saying that Shikamaru, Nara, Neji, Hyuga, Shino, Abarame, um, Kiba, Inazuka, and Rock Lee were in terrible conditions. No, Rock Lee was already in terrible condition because he was injured during his battle with um, with Gara. But saying that Rock Lee had joined them and had gotten in an even worse condition, saying that his life was now on the line. So Tsunade will go in, but heal Rock Lee. He would even go through with the surgery after he healed properly and then heal his body back to what it once was as Rock Lee goes into recovery from the surgery. And she would heal Neji, um, Neji, Shikamaru, and Choji, along with Kiba. Now, Logan... Anger that Sasuke had essentially left the village would tear through a bunch of forest, with the way training grounds forest, destroying it, with cr- and leaving craters all around it. As he told Jiraiya that he um tells Jiraiya that he needs some more time out of Konoha to prepare for Sasuke, saying that if Sasuke is going to that man, he needs to sign, find Sasuke and bring him back, but he might bring Sasuke back in the body bag. Jiraiya agrees, telling Naruto that he does agree that he needs to spend time out of Konoha to prepare for this, saying that the people of Konoha would not want Naruto be, to be trying to kill the last um, loyal Uchiha. So, Jiraiya proposes a training trip, telling Naruto about the Akatsuki before Naruto revealed to him that he'd already come across them. It's funny because encounter with Tachi in their fight. Jiraiya would say that's not really good, that means the Akatsuki might hunt the while on a training trip, before Dry will come up with an idea. Why not train in Mount Yoboku? 
and nine ten would agree, saying that he'd never really been there before, and this would make an excellent training. That would actually be excellent to train there. His time was a bit dilated, as I believe it was like, um, a month was there it was like I think two months, if not like it was something thirty days. I'm not sure. So they'd be there for the next three years as Naruto had departed. As they left really that night. Jirai so did send a, a toad to Sinari to tell her of what happened. As she had not yet been in, um, inaugurated as Okage by the time they left. <clears throat> but yeah, they would leave a lot um, a lot earlier than Canon Naruto would. So that means they'd get about, if not like a week or two, to a month and extra time of training. So from here, we time skip three years. Naruto is now 20, entering back into Konoha to reverse summoning with Jiraiya. It's, he's grown quite the beard, along with his hair growing a lot more wild and feral. As Jiraiya would say, Naruto, again, why did we have to reverse summon ourselves here? Why couldn't we just, you know, walk ourselves to Konoha? As Naruto says, we both know that the trip from Mount Miyoboku to Konoha would have been a must time. And I don't have that much time left. We need to come back to Konoha immediately. So that I can be assigned to my mission to receive to retrieve Sasuke. As you're right, as hard as they head within Konoha, getting stairs along with um, people saying Naruto's back. As they head to Tsunade's office, where, they, um, where Naruto's reintroduced to Shikamaru, Tamari, and Sakura. Even come across Konohamaru, who was talking to Tsunade after re receiving their mission. So, <clears throat> so <clears throat> when I last left off the recording, Logan had just came back to Konoha and was being reintroduced to Sinai and everyone when Naruto first came back, which includes Shikamaru and Tamari. He had yet to get to Kakashi. So when Tsunade um, told Naruto that he would be tested by an opponent that would see how far he's come, I believe I believe he's, um, I believe when I last looked off, he was, I gave him the rank of Joni or Chuni. I'm not sure. Because to be honest, I really think they did the boy Naruto dirty in canon. Like, how do you not get the kid who defeated the one tails in Churiki on his own? Okay. Who fought Kabuto. Not to a standstill. Not to equally, though. It was not equally. Fought Kabuto. And went on and fought Sasuke in the Valley of the End. And they still didn't promote this nigga to Chunin. Like, what was that? I, didn't, I, just, I just did not understand that. So, <clears throat> um, if I didn't give him a rank, which is not either Chunin, we're just going to have this test be a reason why he's tested. Because we do know that Tsunade wants to see how far Naruto's come along in order to test his um, where he would rank. And that he eventually they just did not give him a new rank. That man was a Genin forever. It's called Naruto, the Eternal Genin. Uh, I'm pretty sure the, the the original one is dead. Anyway, it's not the point. So Naruto would uh, would smelling the air ask if Shikamaru saying that well no he would sniff the air saying that there's another smell here one that he recognizes quite well before walking out of the window well walking towards the wall before placing his hand through the wall and ripping someone through it everyone would be surprised that Naruto just did so that he would say yell at Naruto for ripping a hole in her wall as everyone looks to see that it was Kakashi there she not already knew it but the rest were surprised that he was there So, Kikashi would say, uh, uh, hello, Naruto. Hello, Sensei. What are you doing, Kikashi Sensei? <clears throat> I was waiting on the Hokage to introduce myself. So, you're my opponent. <laughs> Kikashi says, um, yeah, I am your opponent, Naruto. Before saying, okay, well. I have something for you, Sensei. Before bringing out a book, which is Jiraiya's um, new book, I think it was either not, it was Icha Icha Paradise, it was Icha Icha something. I'm not sure. 
I think it was Paradise. I'm, I'm not sure. <clears throat> Kikashi would be quite happy and would tell Naruto that they test tomorrow instead as he knew Naruto might be tired. As before Naruto could say anything, Kikashi would leave knowing that Naruto would find some way to not be tired. So he decided to leave a lot sooner. And when gone, um, Tsunade will say he's they all or Mark, he's going to read the book, isn't it? As they all they shake their heads. Tsunade will tell Naruto to meet Kikashi at Training Ground 7 tomorrow morning. And with time skip to that time, Kikashi is on, on, on they arrive at the town Kakashi would, where Kakashi explains the bell test to both Sakura and Naruto. As Naruto nods, Kakashi says, well then, let's begin. As Naruto's, um, everyone watches as Naruto's claws come out of his uh, hands, but come, um, brings out his claws. As he rushed towards Kakashi. As Kakashi had gone had brought out a kunai or a his um, old ambu sword, which now had a a super on it. Um he unsealed it from his tattoo, trying to clash with Naruto, but was surprised when it seems as if Naruto's claws were superheated. As as he cut through it, it seemed that the metal where he cut had melted at that point. As Naruto continued to cut through the sword, he eventually cut Kakashi's jacket or vest, which simultaneously caught him was beginning to catch on catch on fire. I was trying to figure out what is it called. Catch on fire. As Kakashi disregards the vest before rushing towards Naruto with a fireball technique. As Naruto would take the attack, would rush towards, would rush towards the attack with Kakashi, taking taking the attack and continuing on as his body regenerates. As Kakashi wonders where Sakura at, only for him to be surprised that Sakura jumps from the um, comes from the sky, yelling "Cha!" Or well, yeah, I'm just gonna say that. Um, yeah. No. As Sakura brings down a devastating punch to the ground, Naruto would be surprised. He's strong, but most definitely not as strong as he is, physically wise. As Kakashi had jumped back, he accidentally jumped into he actually jumped into Naruto's range. As Naruto was smir- uh, Logan was smirk, as he delivered a uh, a hit to Kakashi, sending him towards Sakura. As Kakashi had noticed he was going towards uh, he had landed next to Naruto when it was too late, he had focused on him. Only for Sakura to punch Kakashi away, as Kakashi was see Naruto had his um, claws out, or at least one claw out on each of his hand. Had he pierced them through Kakashi, Kakashi would scream before telling Naruto, <laughs> "Got you!" Before exploding into the clone explosion technique. Using his sense of smell, he'd find Kakashi quite quickly. His scent was covering the ground, punch, and he could tell a certain part of the ground had a much stronger scent. So going to that portion, he would literally rip his um, punch his hand through the ground, ripping Kakashi out, slamming him onto the floor before delivering a stomp to his chest. As Kakashi be there quite a bit in pain, as Logan would tell Kakashi Sensei, did he really think that that's all he had before picking Kakashi up and throwing him through trees? Does he take off before coming out with a bunch of with a technique? Wind style, wind blade. As he as his three claws will come out, as they covered in wind chakra, as the you can visibly see the wind chakra rather than it being invisible, as they are extended to about three feet um, longer than the claws, so it's about four and a half feet out. If, as he delivered a slash to Kakashi. Kakashi will fall to the ground, ble- bleeding profusely as Sakura rushed towards him, grabbing the bells and throwing them to Naruto before turning Kakashi over and beginning to heal his wound as Kakashi labeled them the winner. Once Kakashi is fully healed, they go on about their day with Naruto uh, meeting everyone else of the rookie of the Konoha 11 until they come across... Until um a messenger from Suna would alert them to Gara's kidnapping of the Akatsuki. 
Naruto, what time? He'll be the, he'll be going to Suna ahead of everyone. Everyone wonder what he means as Naruto. Um, as tomorrow will tell Naruto to wait that you be going with him. If he's going to make it ahead of everyone, she'll go with him. As Naruto summoned his bike before taking off on the road to Suna. As they make it to Suna within, as he like a like a day or two, on the bike. Which is supercharged. I know motorcycles go more or less from two to three hundred miles an hour, and Konoha Shinobi, he, um, Shinobi more or less always surpassed that of sound. Quite can. Yo, I don't. Since it runs on chakra, um, the bike they would head towards uh sooner within a day or two after receiving notice after the bell test. I don't know where it stopped recording. It stopped recording some. And I don't know why. But they would head to Suno arriving within a day and a half. They'd actually arrive there in time to give Conqueror a bit extra time as L Logan would use his blood to help fight um, off Conqueror's own, um, the poison in Conqueror's system. And you don't have to worry because instead of having the um, poisoning from the adamantium being bonded to a skeletal, uh, to a skeleton, as Logan did, due to the QB, he no longer has that problem. As he acts, as he tells, um, tells Kona, uh, not Kona, Tamari that he'll be back, that he's going at the guard ahead of everyone. Getting Tamari nods and says very well. As Naruto begins taking off at high speeds, he doesn't even come across Team 7 or even Team Guy. As he makes his way towards Gaara's scent, which he can find quite easily. Logan picking up the speed will begin to get there within a day's time a day or two's time. A day's time as he'd arrive a day um, he did arrive like I think like a couple of days earlier than Kana and Naruto. Then they were to to not to the base but to the uh that of the what is it called? They arrive a day's a time ahead of when Konoha would arrive um, would arrive to Sune and then embark. So they'd already embarking towards Naruto, but Naruto would have arrived there. So as he sees the seals and can identify him due to his training with dry over time, <clears throat> Naruto would decide to make a bunch of shadow clones. Now these shadow clones are. F <clears throat> He's purposely split the chakra amongst these shadow clones to a low level, as these um as the seals clone the user as Naruto had made four weak clones. So the mixture of these clones. So when these seals come out, the Naruto seeing this how there's just a mere copy of them, which includes endurability and everything. <clears throat> Naruto would be able to dispel all of the. The, the seals, um, the seal clones that had been formed from the seals, obviously, and would jump up to the top, breaking through the seal, where he or through the top of the base or the hidden um, layer, whatever you want to call it, to see Gara being drained of the Ch of Shukaku's chakra. Ikaski will be quite surprised as Naruto, which <clears throat> had jumped in. As he blended down, Logan would begin rushing towards Gara, grabbing his body, but in turn taking his place and the ceiling of um, Gara's Biju. But I believe it was, I'm not sure if it was stated, but the Nine Tails is the last Biju that is to be sealed within the Ghetto Mazo, if I'm not mistaken, because of its extreme power. So this is a cause of backlash, causing all the chakra that had been taken from Shikaku to go back with Gara, along with whatever chakra was taken from the Kiwi back into Naruto. As Logan began to heal, he began panting as Sorcery would send out a bunch of puppets. But due to Logan's enhanced sight, he'd be able to cut through the strings of the puppet, severing it. And <clears throat> he only smelled like sort of DNA-ish blood coming from Sorcery. So before breaking the Hiroko puppet, he would then rush Sasori as Sasori had now revealed his true body, rushing towards Naruto using the um, third Kaze Kage. But Naruto had seemingly cut through all of his attacks with these claws of his, and could even punch them back. 
so they would do no damage to him. Before he ripped the third Kazekage, or cut the third Kazekage to shreds of wood, or to pieces of wood that have no significant damage, as they couldn't access the blades because the blades and the hidden poisons on the puppet was damaged. Sorcery angered would unleash his hundreds, um, I think it was his either a hundred puppets technique or a thousand puppets. The technique where he used a hundred puppets or a thousand ones. I'm not sure. It was that. It was one. It was one zero zero something. So it's either a hundred or a thousand, if I'm not mistaken. As Logan would begin combating these, Data would be would take Gara to rush away to a new base where they can complete the training. But they know it'd now take even longer if Data did get to him. So along the way. <clears throat> Data would get a message from Itachi's crow telling him to just leave the, the Kazekage's body behind. It'd be too much trouble for now and to, well, to leave the third Kazek before leave Gar's body behind and go help Sasori. Data are angry that, that especially that they sent Itachi to, to send this message, would turn around dropping Gar's body where it is. As he go back to help Sasuke, flying on a bird as he make it there as a around the time the Konoha team would. Seeing them, Daedara would uh, begin attacking them and their battle would begin. As Sasuke sees Naruto is easily cutting through his puppet strings along with his puppets at that, would wonder would he even survive this battle. Making up his mind, he'd know what he'd have to do and knowing that he wouldn't make it, he rushed towards Naruto in hopes of delivering a final, a final attack, an attack that would slash through his heart. As Naruto was standing there, he see the blade in Sasori's coming from Sasori's hand, before looking at him, saying, "Ah, oh, that kind of hurt. That really hurt." Before grabbing Sasori's hand and removing it from his. The blade in it from his heart slowly. As Sasori watched as the wound closed afterwards. Before Naruto would deliver a punch to Sasori's. I said a punch. A punch to Sasori's head. Sending it off before rip, uh, ripping through the puppet and grabbing his heart. But no, no, no. Better yet, no. I won't have him grab his heart yet because he does need the, he does need the information from Sasori. That was a mistake I made in the Kryptonian, um, video. So rather than that, Sasori um would use his heart to go to another puppet. Seeing as how blades and poisons wouldn't work against him, he tell Naruto that he know he won't survive. As he begins going through a self destruction technique that will destroy his heart. As he tell Naruto this, <clears throat> I have a spy in Orochimaru's group who I am to meet. I believe it was in 10 days at the Tenchi Bridge. Go there, <clears throat> go there and retrieve information on what you want from about Orochimaru. Not revealing who this spy is, as Naruto would walk towards him, as does Sasori, saying, You may have information. But let's see if I can take you out with this. As Sasori will blow up in an explosion, the explosion will send a whole bunch of burns on Naruto's body. Sasori's watching as his light dims from his puppet eyes. He'd watch as Naruto would get up, covered in burns, shirt ripped along with pants. As he take he ripped, take the remains of his shirt off, as Sasori to watch as the burns on him will begin healing as he guards his teeth. Hey. Nice last effort, but it's not good enough. <clears throat> As Logan would get up fully now healed, <clears throat> he closed Sorcery's puppet eyes before saying, good, he's dealt with. As he go outside to see Dater now fighting the Konoha team, He'd be able to spot that the data that they were fighting was a clone, an explosion clone. So he'd send, he'd use a lightning style, lightning spear technique that he'd throw and pierce through the clone, essentially negating its explosion. It's his um, explosive release, uh, um, explosion part of its 
dispel in nature, whatever. When they just dis- it's, it's, it's negating the explosion part of it of the clone, so that when it um is dispelled, it doesn't explode on anyone. As he find the real data underground. As he ripped data from underground, he asked where Gara's body is. His data said he just left it somewhere. Only for Naruto to begin punching him, asking where is it? Logan giving it to his feral side. Everyone watching us. Red Chakra begin to steam off Naruto. As his eyes begin to turn red, his Morsuka mark stalking and his claws elongate. Sooner or later, they see Naruto was swiping all across Daedra's body, delivering de- um, deadly swipes that would ki- that Daedra had died from within the first three. Well, if even the, if he even made it to three swipes of his uh, slashes on, from his claws, as he continued, um, Kakashi would have to put a hand up, would have to rush towards Naruto, grabbing him as Naruto had gone to attack him, being in his feral like state. Kakashi placed him under a Genjutsu. And we all know what this would do. Being in a Genjutsu, his claws would retract, waking him up from it, but no longer being in a feral like state, he began to see clearly he said, Kakashi, what happened? As Kakashi would tell Naruto that he lost control. Hmm. As it's as he said that he said Data said something about leaving Gara's body somewhere. Before sniffing the air, telling them to follow him. Kakashi says, I wonder why I even summon Pakun when I have Naruto here. As they follow Naruto, they eventually find Gara slowly get um having gotten up and leaning against the tree um sitting against the tree, breathing heavily. As he sees them approaching and hears them call out his name, he say, Ah uh, Naruto, it's good to see you again. It's been a while. As Chio and Sakura rush towards him, healing him up, as Chio doesn't have to give up her life. Because Gara is not dead at this moment. As Gara thanks him, he thanks Naruto for saving him, for coming to the rescue, and even giving up his place in the ceiling for Shukaku uh, for Naruto. Naruto. Giving, taking his place in the ceiling altar, which allowed Chukaku Chakra to return and partially heal his body. Logan will say, it's alright. To what friends do, Gara. As Gara would smile before passing out, and when he awakened, he'd awaken inside that of Aizuna Hospital. With Chiyo there, on with Kankuro and Tamari, asking where the Konoha team went. As he said they had to leave because of some urgent information with dealing with Orochimaru. God not to say before looking uh, I'm getting up and going to his window before saying thank you, Naruto to the sky. As we see Naruto and them come back to Konoha, they report to Tsunade the mission details. And Tsunade would tell Team 7 that in a couple of days they would embark on a mission to go face, to go find the spy of Orochimaru and, if possible, get as much information as possible, if not, kill the spy. <clears throat> so, in 10 days, Team 7 with Kakashi and Yamato would leave embarking on this new mission. Arriving at Tenshi Bridge like a couple of hours before, where Yamato would hinge into that of Sasori's Hiroko puppet, even in the Sasori Hiroko puppet voice down. So when Kabuto attacks him and it reveals Yamato with Orochimaru there, Orochimaru reveals that that is not Sasori, telling the other, telling Yamato to bring out the other Konoha Shinobi that are with him. As Kakashi, Sakura, and Naruto are there. Now just seeing Orochimaru rushes him, stabbing his um his claws into Orochimaru as he continues running until he pierces him until he stops at a tree, putting Orochimaru up to his saying, Where is Sasuke? As Orochimaru says, Sasuke is out of your reach now, Naruto. He'll never be as strong as he is. <laughs> as he says, well then. Lightning style. Torturous lightning. As a continuous stream of lightning will continue, what the torturous lightning does is it attacks the nerves, pain receptors more precisely. Why it's called torturous lightning. 
As a Rotomo begins to scream, he eventually sheds his body with the Kusanagi in hand as he goes to swipe against Naruto. But it's surprised when Naruto, um, Naruto's claws are able to clash with it, not even being cut by the sword that was said to be able to cut every anything. As Naruto backed the sword up, he delivered an uppercut to Orochimaru, sending him back before rushing towards him and delivering a knee to his face. Logan would ask again where Sasuke, and when Orochimaru doesn't respond, he stabbed his claws through Orochimaru's um, stomach area. Orochimaru, in bit in pain, would say, So... Do you think a little pain will cause me to give up Sasuke's location? No, I don't suspect that. Before he, his eyes turn red, as he says, maybe this will, as the red chakra envelops both of Rokimaru and Naruto, appearing inside that of the Kyuubi's cage. Naruto on the other side of the of the gate, as Rokimaru turns around, surprised, as the Kyuubi is standing there, arms are now grabbing the Rokimaru. Orochimaru began screaming in pain as the QB has essentially devoured him, but he wouldn't die. I mean, it would mostly only really affect Naruto, but it would leave a mental scar on Orochimaru. So, Naruto would ask, are you ready to give up that information yet? But it's a surprise when three figures land down right next to them. Naruto would ask, who are you? Before remembering them, as he said, you. As he rushed towards the person with the rap bandage rap sword. As he, as he says, you got a stronger kid. We can't let you continue on your path on getting stronger. So, Sasuke. So when we knew that Konoha would be sending a Shinobi squad, more precisely that Jinchuriki, we asked Sasuke, about his meeting the next couple of days, as we knew he wouldn't survive. So we've just been waiting for you. The people there are Itachi Uchiha, Kisame Hashigaki, and Konan. No, no, do I have one? No, I'm going to get rid of Konan and have it be Hidon. I really dislike that man. Not really like a hatred, but I dislike him so much. So, Kikashi would be surprised along with Orochimaru as he say Itachi. As a figure in Orochimaru's base would awaken, saying this chakra, before grabbing his sword and rushing towards where Orochimaru, where the chakra was. As Naruto would say, well then, let's see how well you can take me on. Before kicking the Samihara and its wielder back towards his group, <clears throat> he he had to dodge a sweep of a scythe as a man a red man with a red scythe with white hair said, Jashin will love you to be sacrificed. Love I would love to sacrifice you to Jashin. To Lord Jashin. As Naruto oh, before punching the man back as Itachi come with a fireball technique. Naruto would go out with a wind style wind um wind wall bringing up a wall of wind that would encase the fire, but would hide, would protect Naruto from its heat. As it overpowered Itachi's chakra in the, within the fire, making it a much higher um, time and defeating it, Itachi would be surprised. As Naruto rushed through the wall of flames, swiping at Itachi, cutting his cheek, as Itachi jumped back, wiping his hand, he says, you got him better. Way better. As Naruto would say, I've also learned to do this. As anyone watches, Naruto would rip out one of his claws. And he began grunting in pain as he had it in hand. As he throw it toward, through Kisame Samahara, piercing it. As Kisame was surprised, Samahara began to ooze some sort of liquid. I'm not sure how it has actually blood or not, has real blood or not. That's why I'm saying that. Because I mean, could feel something harder in pain, would try, would begin to merge with it. As he come out in his much stronger form, 
He says, well then, let's see if you can take me on now. As not as Logan rushes towards Kisame, delivering well-placed kicks and tossing Kisame over his shoulder. As he places his arm in Kisame's um, stomach before releasing his three claws, which one has regenerated, which it was an ability he gained through the QB. I'm not sure if Logan actually has this ability, because I haven't really seen it. So, Kisame would, would cough up a bunch of blood as Naruto had then pierced his lungs with his other arm. As Naruto would tell Kisame, you like water so much. What about this? Water style. Water wave. As a as Naruto would begin spewing out a bunch of... Oh, had jumped back. Spewing out a bunch of water, which began to push Kisame and the other three back. With Kisame being a shark, he began to swim in the water, even with his injuries. But a surprise when Naruto had gone through hand signs, saying, Lightning release. Lightning pulse. As the lightning between his two fingers, uh, between his, on it, would begin to generate on his hand as he put his hand onto the water, as he'd electrified, electrifying Kisame, essentially putting him in a sort of stasis. I've seen this in sort of the flash and with King Shark. I can't remember what exactly they said, but if they when they overloaded when um buried through that lightning, it sort of I think put him in not stasis, but it did defeat King Shark. <clears throat> this is really what this is basis is off. As he talks, he'd rush towards Nanto on blue sword in hand. Would be surprised when Nanto cut through it, telling Itachi he'd have to do much better than that. Before swiping up Kisame, um, the side, not Kisame, Itachi's, like, the side of his neck up to his face, even his eye, ripping his eye out intentionally, unintentionally, um, as he brought his claw up. Itachi would jump back, now missing an eye, or to go to cast the Amaterasu on Naruto. But he watches Naruto in pain, would begin to literally... <clears throat> begin to regenerate as as soon as he begins to um, essentially turn to ash around him. He was regenerating just as fast. As he rushed towards Itachi with the pain, he'd um, be attacked by Josh, um, by, um, <clears throat> he'd be attacked by, um, what was his name? Hedon. As Hedon had grabbed a bit of blood from not from the attack before entering into his ritual. As he smiled before stabbing himself in the heart as Naruto would fall to the ground. He could feel as if he had been stabbed right through the heart as he looked up to see Hidon stab himself, saying, So, that's his ability. Before getting up slowly as he dons quite surprised, saying that I might not be immortal, but I have quite the impressive healing factor. As he rushed towards Hedon before grabbing Hedon and casing him in a sort of bear-like grip, as the Amaterasu flames would begin to spread from himself onto Hedon. Hedon, who had now been taken out of his circle, would now begin to scream in excruciating pain as he was slowly, but surely, disintegrated into nothing but ash from the Amaterasu. Itachi seeing this, but knowing that he has no the only way to cancel out the technique, would really to be de to defeat himself, or if he ran out of chakra, would begin rushing towards Naruto as Amaterasu flames still on him. Logan, seeing an opportunity, would then grab his claws, and as the flames on are now on his claws as they are healing, um, regenerating at the same rate, he began rushing towards Itachi with three black flaming or well, six black flaming claws as Itachi had grown to stab Naruto with a kunai. But when he noticed that Anancho was about to slash him again, he bring up his Susano. As Naruto's attack will reflect off of the Yada mirror. As she says. Huh. Before rushing towards the Susano, which is again not as strong as Madara's. So Naruto's punch would be able to crack through the Susano and deal damage to Itachi still. As Itachi didn't suspect that a punch would be able to do anything to his, to his Susano, he didn't use the Yara mirror. 
He talked to me, you'd be surprised as he sent back along with as with the Susano is sort of chakra from the Susano being dispersed. As he talked, he said through multiple trees, landing on a log, impelled by it. Tachi would be surprised. Logan would say, oh, I've seen this scene before. As he talked, he would place his hand on Naruto's head, bloodied, as he began to cough. As he placed two fingers on Naruto's forehead. Before Logan, Itachi would tell him, I guess you were pretty strong. I should have used the Yara mirror at that time. But I underestimated you, Naruto. As Itachi had gone to uh, form the Susana once more, in hopes of using the, not the, uh, you, in hopes of keeping the Akatsuki away from Naruto, he was going to use the Totsuka blade, but was out of chakra and could no longer form it. As he told Naruto to get, to get, he wanted Sasuke to be the one to kill him. In his last breath, he displayed Naruto the truth behind the Uchiha massacre. As Logan would tell Itachi that he was having to hear this about the truth about the Uchiha, but telling him Sasuke is not going to survive, is not going to live a full life. Sasuke betrayed the village for what? Power? He's not going to live a full life. And he'll end it himself. Say, my brother was always foolish. I'm sorry that I have to thrust my sins upon you, Naruto. So thank you for dealing with my little brother. As Itachi dies, a person would appear saying Itachi, but was stopped as he see Itachi impelled now dead on a log with one person in front of him, Naruto. As Naruto would turn around, he see Sasuke. As Naruto would turn, as the Amaterasu flames on his body would suddenly disperse with Itachi's death, as Sasuke's hatred will actually force the awakening of his own among Gekyo. But not knowing what this in his sudden drain of chakra, would rush towards Naruto, using the Chidori, um, decoding his blade and lightning chakra. As Logan, a bit in pain and a bit drained, would coat his claws and wind chakra, combating Sasuke's Chidori. Sasuke would ask Naruto, I'll, he was telling Naruto, I'll kill you for taking away my ambitions. And I'll take away your ambitions. As Naruto would tell Sasuke, what makes you think you're going to survive me? Sasuke, blinded by rage, would not see the claw coming for his gut as it would be too late by the time he noticed it. As Naruto had ripped his claw through Sasuke's gut and across his stomach, as Sasuke fell to the ground, coating, having his gum, holding his stomach, trying to stop the bleeding as much as possible. Before saying that, Naruto, damn you. Before his his song gun was shut off, because he could no longer sustain it due to the drain, not knowing that he had activated the Mangeki on Kasi a bit more clearly, but yet his rage had blinded him so much that he didn't even notice it. So, in a last ditch effort, he'd go through the hand signs, letting his the blood flow freely as he formed the Chidori. As the Chidori began to elongate, he pierced through Naruto's heart. As Logan will, be continue, will begin walking towards it, telling, what's up with you guys and going for the heart? I don't think it could take much more of this. As he grabbed, rush, as he landed in front of Sasuke on his knees, right in front of him, Naruto bringing out his claws, was stabbing through Sasuke's own heart, telling Sasuke he was sorry, dear friend, but <clears throat> you betrayed our village. We were one friend, Sasuke. But that vengeance clouded your mind, and you ruined our own friendship. Why? Because, Naruto, you got power. Then you got power when I needed it the most. The day that the massacre happened, I could have used that power that you had. I could have awakened my own Sharingan, but no, that didn't happen. Instead, you awakened your bloodline, your kick again, whatever it may be. You gained power that night, power that I should have gained to be able to at least deal damage to Itachi. As, it as the Chidori spear would dissipate, Sasuke's arm would fall down. As he told Naruto, he truly hated him. 
as Logan would say, I guess you did. But I never hated you, Sasuke. The only reason I'm willing to kill you, this wasn't Sasuke I once knew. He would never have wanted to become this. As he continues to press his arm through Sasuke's chest, as the he continues to cut through until his arm pierces through Sasuke's back, claws elongated already, having already been a can because he pierced his chest with it. Sasuke being quite the pain. As Naruto, and Logan would rip the claws out. Sasuke would watch as the hole where he had um, pierced through Naruto's heart was I begin to open up. As Logan would tell Sasuke, he can do one last thing for him before grabbing Sasuke's face and ripping his eyes out, saying that he'll make sure that these go to a good person, someone who will do justice to the Sharingan. As Sasuke's arm would fall to the ground, Logan no longer um, hearing his heartbeat. As he shed a tear for the one friend that he had back when he was young. As he picked Sasuke's body up, Sharingan in other hand, as he began walking, carrying him towards the battle area. He walked towards Itachi's body, retrieving his own eye, knowing that the Sharingan might be active, and he was lucky that it was. As Logan will walk towards Kakashi, Kakashi having dealt with Kabuto and Orochimaru having fled and will no longer have him in the body anymore, but eventually die, but for now we're not going to get into that. With, the, um, with Kakashi have, and them having killed Kabuto, <clears throat> um, they would meet up with Naruto. Seeing him carrying Sasuke's dead body, Sakura would ask what happened. Naruto said he killed him. Now, again, Sakura is still in love with Sasuke. We've seen that throughout the series. No matter how bad Sasuke got, she still loved him. And would be quite enraged with the fact that Naruto killed him. Asking, I'm going to punch him, but Kakashi will stop her. Telling her, what is she doing? Seeing that he killed Sasuke. They could have brought him back and he could have at least paid for his crimes, but he didn't have to die. As Kakashi would tell Sakura to think about it. Naruto spared Sasuke something. Sasuke would have been used as a sort of way to bring the Uchiha clan back before being put to death. Naruto spared him from that. As he see three eyes in Naruto's hand, he asks Naruto what's the third eye from as he brings out a vial with Naruto, three vials with water in it, with medical liquid, whatever it is, to place the three separate eyes in. As Naruto said, one is Itachi's eye, but the other was damaged by me. Itachi? What do you mean Itachi? Saying that the Akatsuki attacked him. Akatsuki would be quite surprised. As he asks, is there any survivors? He said, yeah. That, kiss, that shark dude is back there. Before Naruto would collapse to the ground, no longer being able to sustain himself due to his injuries he sustained throughout the battle. Logan would say, Sorry, it ended this way, old friend. I really am. Sorry, Sakura. Sasuke was too far gone to be redeemed. As when he wake up, he wake up in a Konoha hospital. Tsunade and Jiraiya would say, wow, kid, you really scared us there. We never thought you would be in the hospital like this. As Naruto would say, yeah, yeah. Before getting up, saying, before getting dressed and walking out with Jiraiya and Tsunade, I told Naruto that Sasuke had been buried and telling him the location of his grave, along with Itachi's body, saying that the <clears throat> saying that uh, Kisame had been killed by the had tried to escape, and when he couldn't, had killed himself. Now Logan will look at Tsunade before not shaking, uh, before nodding his head, saying, "Okay, thank you for letting me know, Tsunade." As Tsunade, Dry would be a bit shaken because he knows what's coming next. He had just gotten information of the Akatsuki's whereabouts. But he knew Naruto was strong enough to accompany her, but he didn't know if he wanted to go. Not just yet, at least. 
Jiraiya would tell Tsunade he needs to talk with her about something, and they would. Tsunade would tell Jiraiya that they know where the Akoski is and can launch out an all an all out attack on the Akoski now. They know where they're at. And they're down a bunch of members. Data, Sorcery, Kisame, Itachi, and Hidon. Whoever that is. And Orochimaru won't be living long enough to retreat with two place it won't well, have enough strength to place a curse mark on a new person and will die himself. We both know this, Jiraiya. Yes, Tsunara, we do. I wanna go, but I think your plan is a much better idea. Tsunari will say then she's going to call a five Kage summit. And would do so. While Naruto was in Konoha, the five Kages would convene a week. Within a week after Itachi's death, Tsunade giving them the information with some of their Jinchurikis haven't been taken already. This includes the Four Tails, the Three Tails, the Two Tails, and the Seven, um, and, no, no, and the, um, the Two, the, the Five Tails, and, um, yeah, the two and five tails along with I'm um, the three tails. And the five Kages would all agree to launch an attack with their with their remaining Jinchuriki against the Akoski. With the mini Nakavine and no one less there to pose a threat, the five Kages will head back to Konoha to their villages to relate to their forces of what is to so, we last left off with me confirming that there will be a five village attack on the Akatsuki. And you may ask with the remaining Jinchuriki. Now, you may ask who are those Jinchuriki. It's the one tails, the four tails, the seven tails, eight, and nine tails. Those are the five Jinchuriki that are left. Along with the five Kage and their entire ninja forces going against Obito or Madara. Pain and his 60s pass of pain. Conan. Um Kisama is dead, so that would leave Kakuzu and Zetsu. I think that's five, if not set six people. But this also does include that their remain their own remaining <clears throat> their own remaining don't their Jinchuriki that they've captured yet. Yeah, they can use the bees used then. So you might not get into it. Now, everyone, all the five nations will converge on where they know the village, where the Akoski is at. And Obito, seeing this as an opportune moment, will decide to meet them there with the Akoski and the, and the Bijus. Except, Obito, there is a new person with him, Orochimaru. You see, Obito had prodded Orochimaru. When Obito knew that Sasuke now being dead, Orochimaru wouldn't be able to reincarnate. I wouldn't be able to use the curse seal to essentially take a new body because he had placed all his time and effort into Sasuke and a new body wouldn't work unless it was Sasuke's really. This is just a plot point. So he went to Orochimaru on his deathbed and prided his mind for the secrets of the Edo Tensei. Using the Edo Tensei, he would revive <clears throat> he would revive the previous Inshuriki. Along, well, I'm just going to have it be the previous in Turkey, as I will say that it is a certain chakra cost. This thing is how he is not a sage, similar to that of um, Kabuto, and does not have the expertise of Orochimaru with the technique. He wouldn't be able to revive Madara uh -uh, due to, because uh, Orochimaru had to, could even said that he could not suppress the first Okage and the, using the Edo Tensei. And Obito, knowing that he wouldn't be able to even conjure up what is the first couple of Hokages and the second, um, the first couple of Hokages, along with the third, the fourth four Hokages, he wouldn't think to be able to be, like, literally, he wouldn't think to bring Madara back. Because that was actually only Kabuto who did so. And since Orochimaru is not Kabuto, he doesn't even find uh, Madara's DNA to use the running, um, to use the reanimation. So Obito never really decides to go and reanimate Madara. 
Because he was taught that Kabuto reanimated him. But that's not the point. So they would meet um, at in the rain village, which had been evacuated of its well with its shinobi, but its civilians had been evacuated to nearby villages. <clears throat> the five forces in the Jinchuriki would all be there. As everyone see Naruto, who have been sitting down for a while, finally getting up. As to not Naruto would tell them, are they ready? With them all, technically they'll be in the um. You remember the kill killer bees. Tsukiyomi dream, infinite Tsukiyomi dream, where the Jinchuriki were all in a certain type of cloth. He'd be wearing that, except Naruto's would have a protrusion, like these, like, sort of protrusions that would help with his, so his claws could come out still. Similar to Wolverine's own um, gloves, who have the, um, those sort of, I think you would call them guides or something for his claws to come out, so that it doesn't just tear through the fabric and essentially just ruin the purpose of the gloves. As Naruto, everyone watches Naruto jumps up. As Naruto says, he spent a month developing this technique, and it'll use all the Senjutsu chakra he has, imbuing his Senjutsu chakra with as much um, wind chakra and his um, claws. Naruto would say, "One release." <clears throat> um, dang, I was gonna say crazy. I would say, um. Oh no. Wind release cutting winds. As Naruto um slashes his claw and um what seems to be random slashing motions, but the wind from the claws begin to sharpen as it sends out, releasing large like slash like markings that attack the entirety of the rain village, clearing it mostly as it uses all of Naruto's disinjutsu chakra Naruto has. As with this it draws the Akatsuki to them. Everyone is shocked when the Akoski appears, along with the Rain Shinobi and the six dead Jinchuriki, which they which with Konoha's help I've already identified them as Edo Tensei. Not knowing that well, obviously they were they didn't know that they were using Edo Tenseis before, but now they do have a ceiling core. So they should be prepared enough to take on the Jinchuriki. With the remaining Jinchuriki entering their own tail beast variations besides Naruto, as Naruto chooses not to really rely on the QB, the attack against the Akatsuki proceeds, with Obito or Madara, as he had now proclaimed himself, would be taking on the five Kage, along with, Jir along with Jiraiya, Kakashi, and Tojiro, out, out, you know who I'm talking about. The Inoshika Trochio. It's a whole bunch. They're literally getting jumped. And it's not even fair, to be honest. As Naruto um, Naruto takes on the six paths of pain. Who says the nine tails needs to come with him now? Conan is taking on majority. I say the weakest village at this moment would be the Sand Village. If not the Hidden Mist. So... And Kakuzu, using his techniques along with the reanimations of what they have so far, will be taking on the remaining with their Jinchuriki. Well, with the Jinchuriki helping them take out as many as they can. As Naruto lands, the paths of pain uh, tells Naruto he will be coming with him as he sent as the Ashra sends out a missile at Naruto. What a surprise when Naruto slashes through the missile and lets it explode right in front of his face. But when Naruto walks out of it, the Ashra is even more surprised. How could someone, you know, essentially take a blast like that and walk out of it? And it seems as if he was regenerating. His healing factor was extremely high. As Naruto dashed towards them at high speeds, <clears throat> it seemed like as he reached an apex of speed, it seemed as if Naruto disappeared, only to appear behind that of a path of pain, kicking it in its head. His enhanced strength helping it kick very far, along with the kick doing a lot of damage by smashing the path's head in. This was not the Ashura path, this was the Praetor path. With the paths of pain now on, they would begin attacking Naruto, and Naruto would begin to have some difficulties as they have yet to figure out the entirety of pain's technique. So as Naruto begins to have trouble, he makes a bunch of shadow clones as a distraction, all of them dispersing into multiple directions. 
he ba- he makes at least a thousand shadow clones. As seeing as how as far as far as we could tell, only a Madara was the only person being able to differentiate a clone from the original. Now, as far as I can tell, maybe besides Kaguya, and I don't think it's a Renegon ability to differentiate clones from the original. Pain would have a lot of trouble trying to take out the um the proceed the clone. Naruto will use this as a way to set up a bunch of clones out, like at least three three to six clones outside of Rain Village and outside of the battleground, form them to gather some juicy chakra. <clears throat> as um he also uses this as a way to summon Pa uh well, Ma. As Jiraiya has Pa now on his um on his shoulder as he's entered Sage Mode and with the help of Naruto hadn't mastered not mastered it to per- a perfect sage, but he had mastered in perfect sage mode. He could enter it similar to Naruto, but he could not enter perfect sage mode. But with Pa's help he now only required one toad. So with Ma now with Naruto, Naruto asked Ma if she uh to do it now. As Ma would use a wind style wind blast technique, a, a blasting wind technique to um, send out the paths of pain from a direction. As Naruto would use the fire style um <clears throat> fire style flame throwing te- flamethrower technique. This is essentially the fireball jutsu really. Except it's a prolonged version of it. As the paths of pain would jump out of the way, but it's really what Naruto wanted. Except as it clouded their village, um, their vision due to the since the Ray Village, since where they're fighting is currently on water, it kind of literally clouded their vision with the extreme heat of the flames heating up the water, creating a sort of mist. As not as Logan would use his enhanced senses. To literally sniff out the paths of pain and to attack them covertly. Having now re entered Senjutsu mode, since Senjutsu is Shay's mode, he would attack the um, prey to path, killing it with a single slash cut to its heart. But with the other paths of pain, kind of knowing the duration of where the prey to path is, the offshore path would send out a rocket at it. But nothing, when they see nothing, Naruto would land on the offshore path by Singon's in hand. Logan would uh, stab the Rasengan into the Praetor Path, destroying his body as it was no normal Rasengan, but a Wind-style Rasengan, which is just a small, very, very small downscale version of the Rasen Shuriken. And I say very small as it, as how downscaled it is, not in its size. <clears throat> as he jumps away from where the Praetor Path's body is, the Diva Path decides to clear the mist with an almighty push, pushing Naruto and Shima back along with destroying the remaining clones. As I see Naruto now there, I believe it was the animal path who could use these summons, or was it the prey? I believe it was the either the Pareto path or the Naraka path that can summon the King of Hell, if I'm not mistaken. It's one of those three, which includes the... I don't think it was the animal path. But the animal path would summon its giant, um, the gigantic rhinoceros, which while his Naruto is in sage mode and has the enhanced strength of Logan, which has been enhanced even further due to the QB's influence of his body, he would pick the rhinoceros up by his horn and begin using it as a battering ram against the paths of pain, sending them all back, taking a lot of damage from it before tossing the path, well, the um, before grabbing the rhino, throwing it up in the air, and essentially spiking it through the animal path, destroying it. Due to the size of the animal, along with this horn, you're literally going through its gut. The diva passing this as a problem. It wants to use the um, one of the paths that I mentioned that could summon the King of Hell to revive the others. But when it begins to summon its Naruto, does it? Logan doesn't let them do what they're planning to do, and attacks it, moving at high speeds faster than what Pain had ever seen anyone move. Logan had cut off the past head, sending it rolling. As he rushed towards Pain, as he um, Pain would use a black rock, would summon a black rock from his hand. But a surprise when Naruto was not combat was sort of holding it off, as the black rock was supposed to negate all chakra techniques. 
Well, my, uh, most chakra chakra infused techniques, which does include like in elemental based techniques, I believe it was, it including sub elements. As with the mighty roar, Logan and the pulse of his own chakra, Logan will send the path away from him. As he rush, rushes towards the path, he was about to place the body of the animal path within the king of hell. As he tackles the path out of the way from the king of hell, by letting it get in within the within its mouth, the path begins to fight Naruto. And this is then when, while Naruto's holding on to it, that the deeper path was having a black rod before holding out a hand, using the Banjo Tenny to bring Naruto towards him. But when Naruto seeing this, Naruto spins around using the from that path, the path. I believe it was the uh, what what was it, the remaining path, which I believe should be the Naraka path. And it's there's okay, so the animal path, the uh, Ashura path. There's a div um the I think I took out the Prater path, if not the Naraka. So that leaves six other paths, which is the human. Diva, and if not, pray to Naraka. If not Naraka, pray to Path. So leaving those three, the human path. Um. <clears throat> so technically, so when Naruto when it stabs it, it stabs the path of pain through the heart, uh, or through its um through its stomach and hopes of negating its chakra, which it causes a sort of chakra blockage within the path of pain as its eyes sort of flicker from its Renegon like eyes into that of different of the original owner body's um co eye color. As you see Naruto would use this way to take under the diva path's leg and sweeping his legs from under him underneath him before delivering a devastating elbow to the diva path sending it flying back. As he fights the human path which I believe does give it the ability to take um to take the souls of from the peop from people along with reading people's mind. Naruto would be able to take this path out quite easily as he did not use any techniques, but clawing through these is really more or less what he does. And it's due to the fact that he doesn't really train techniques a lot more than he trains his own body to fight with his mutant abilities over his chakra. He does use his chakra to enhance his abilities even further, but that's more or less what Naruto's fighting style rewinds around, which is his basic knowledge of his of fighting from his previous world along with what he has now and using his mutant abilities, which includes his healing factor to its fullest capabilities, along with his own claws and his, um, well, yeah, his, in his enhanced strength and speed and so you could say durability and senses. So when Naruto would begin to feel a pull on, um, would be begin to feel a push as he's about to take out the remaining, um, the last second path, which I believe should be the, um, it should be, um, Pain had essentially taken Naruto back and had used the almighty push to push him into the arms of the Praetor path, who would just begin to steal his chakra. But Logan, knowing that he can easily overpower it, would send an el uh, elbow to the nose of the Praetor path, breaking its hold on Naruto before throwing it over his shoulder and breaking its arm with a clean rip from his um with his own bare physical strength. With the Praetor Pass um with the Naraka Pass destroyed, no longer having access to the King of Hell, the Diva Pass sees this as a he needs to use this technique. So what would he use? He'd use the um Chubaku Tensei. But he'd need time to prepare the technique. And would ask the Praetor Path to put its life on the line for it. And that it does, giving its life in hopes of giving um, the Diva Path or Yahiko's body enough time to perform the Chibaku Tensei. Which it does at its own life as Naruto takes it out with a slash, tearing it clean through its body, cleaning like into three pieces from the three dissection points. So there's like its upper body, then its upper middle body, and then there's its. The lower half, like it's just like slim because you know how how slim of the size 
between the knuckles is, you know, um, between each claw is. Logan now covered in blood. We're are we going to continue this forever? As he then watches as the diva path would bring up a, um, bring out a black orb, which will fly into the sky. He'd wonder what this is as he began to feel a pull. As he tried to grip onto the, um, to land, but only to realize he forget that he was in water, fighting him on top of water, and will be pulled into the technique. As the rocks began to form around his body, he decides, saying that he didn't want to rely on his power. As Logan will let the rocks continue to apply pile up on him, Logan will then ask the QB, what does it think? As the QB will say, take my power, Nart on Naruto and attack its center. It has a weakness as I've seen my father use the technique once. Its center is its weakness. As Naruto would begin to glow, well not glow, but would begin to have a red chakra cloak form around his body that began to enter into the four tail state before entering into its five tail state. As Naruto would begin to build up a bijou bomb where he's currently at, knowing that the at least the um, Kyuubi's chakra would sustain most of the damage, but he would still be left with significant damage taken. So Naruto would turn his head around, seeing the or seeing as how he's literally right, like the um, center is right behind him, using the, um, the what seems to be the cartoonish sort of powers of the. Um, and the fox's chakra would form an extra appendage or an upper body sort of torso thing that will fire the bijou bomb at its center, exploding the center and sending out the rocks of the Chibaku Tensei, essentially canceling out the tech, destroying the technique as Naruto Logan begins falling from the sky. As his body is healing, he eventually hits the ground or the water. As he begins floating there, as um, the Diva Path walks up to him, surprised, saying that he's surprised he got he canceled out his attack. As he goes to grab Naruto, only for Logan to grab his hand, before shake telling, before shaking his hand side to side, before cutting off both hands of the Diva Path, before he would kick the Diva Path away from his hands. And burning them with a fire jutsu. The Diva Path no longer having access to its chakra and barely being able to keep up. Um, well, seeing as how it doesn't have any palms, can't wield ninjutsu like it used to. He can barely even, I believe it will, he does need his hands and the chakra notes I and mean, his chakra points and the ketsu points in his hands to use the Almighty Push, the pool, um, Almighty Push, Universal Pool, and the Chewbacca Tensei. He will no longer. Be able to fight Naruto and will be destroyed. As Naruto realized, um, had realized throughout the battle, but after fighting the last two paths, had realized that these rods sort of they had these real wide rods and they can all see, but they also had a similar chakra to each other as if it was identical. Yet the body also had another chakra. So he would take one of the rods and would stab it into his body, entering stage mode as Shima comes out from the rubble. Telling Naruto if he was or if the fight was over, saying yes, this fight was over. Telling Shima to let's go that they need to go find the original pain, as he had got his location. Moving with Shima now clasped onto his shoulders, moving at high speeds, they'd eventually come in his sense of smell. They eventually find Nagato's original body. Logan breaking again will tell Nagato that Nagato there he is. Nagato would say, ah, oh, the Cubans in Turkey. You found me. I didn't think that you would do that. I didn't think you would find me. I guess I'll bring you in myself. As he shoot out a giant chakra rod, but when Naruto catches it and shatters it, as he noticed the red chakra bubbling around his hand, he'd be surprised when Naruto would level a feral like um, grin off him. As Shima is shot off Naruto's shoulder. As a different voice comes from Naruto's body, you human have dared to use my father's technique, my father's eyes, to prison his children, my brothers and siblings, into that damn statue. I'll rip you apart where you stand as it 
some whatever is in control of Naruto's body summons his claws, rushing towards Nagato as Nagato is kind literally a cripple at this point, stands no chance and accepts his defeat as the person tears Nagato's body's limbs off, cuts his limbs off and everything, leaving only his head. And from his head, he takes one of the on eye in Nagato's head, as the other had been giving to Madara for him to use the sort of six pass sort of technique on the um, on the Jachuriki. As he cut out Naruto, was who had been extremely exhausted from his battle. Logan would say, "Huh, <clears throat> what happened?" As he noticed the one eye in his hand, as a voice would say, "You're welcome." Telling Naruto to implant the eye into his own eye socket that his healing factor should help him recover a lot faster and use it almost immediately. Naruto following its order, whatever um, which he recognized as the key these voices orders, as he had not known that he had barely realized before it was too late to take it over his body briefly, he would take out one of his eyes. Logan would bear with the pain as he placed in the remaining Renegon, which would be his right eye. One Renegon now in his eye, Logan began to see through the other Renegon. As it seemed that most Dojutsu, if the users one, if the original Dojutsu user is alive, or if the Dojutsu user is alive, or the, uh, if there's two Renegon, right? Nagato's Renegon. You get one to Obito and one to Nagato. Nagato was also seen through Obito's eyes as he's fought due to the link between the Renegon. So Naruto now seeing this, um, and Obito seeing Naruto's link would begin to curse, saying that the Kyuubi Jinchuriki won his battle and Naruto's eye was taken. Now Konan, who was fighting near him, says what, and decides to take off to go fight Naruto. She sees the Kyuubi Jinchuriki leaving from his area and goes to fight her. But when Naruto immediately, who had, um, with the help of Kyuubi, had gained come to an understanding of how to use the techniques of the Renegon quite easily, would blast her away with an almighty push before bringing her towards him with the universal pull. Logan, using the um, what remaining chakra he had, would tell Conan that he was sorry about this before using the Protopat to absorb her chakra. And replenishing his own reserves as he brings his claws out, telling her that she wants to die from the human path or from that of his claws. Conan no longer having a will to fight as her friend was now killed and the body of Yaiko now destroyed. We'll just sit there resigned as um, Logan sighs before bringing his claws out and stabbing it through Conan's chest. Leaving Conan now there dead, Naruto would go and see the continuation of the battles. The Rain Village had now been taken care of, and the village and the five Kage, along with whatever, were now facing the well, the what what little Jinchuriki were left, along with the um with Obito and Kakuzu now. But sooner or later, they would be taken care of, as Naruto had really ran out of a lot of chakra. And his, even though he replenished himself with Konar's chakra, his body was still going, um, experiencing chakra exhaustion. So, when Naruto would be able to join the battle and be too late, as Obito had already been taken care of, as he had already been discovered due to Kakashi using the Kamui with the help of a uh, shinobi from the Hinagoa guy, he had found out about Obito's, um, him, him being Obito, and they shattered his mask. But Kakashi, what Kakashi essentially did was open, use the Kamui on Guy's leg, but kept it open to where he would be able to retrieve Guy's leg at the same time as it hit Obito. So uh, it's, it's kind of like he Obito's technique is up. It's a long range version. This is what I'm essentially giving him that. So when they took, when they found out about Obito and his running on Obito, not not having access to the the um, reincarnated Kuk, um, the reincarnated um, Gold and Silver Brothers, nor the other Seven Tail Bijus, will not be able to fall back on the um, Ten Tails being revived easily and take and absorbing it. So Obito would fail in his plan, along with Zetsu. 
with the end of the Akoski now here, the five great nations would celebrate its battle being won, taking not the minimalist of ca casualties as they have suffered over, I say at least 5,000 dead on their side. <clears throat> the five great nations would leave, disembark from the rain village with victory now in hand with Naruto um, being carried by his sensei Jiraiya, who had been severely wounded, having lost an entire arm, similar to in the attack with pain. He had lost his arm. Jiraiya, and when Naruto would awake in the hospital, Jiraiya would say, <laughs> Hey kid, as Naruto would ask him, how do we won? And Jiraiya would say, yeah, we won. Logan would be happy before telling Jiraiya, um, opening one of his eyes, Jiraiya was shocked. That was the under Renegon. There was a Renegon in Naruto's eyes. He asked Naruto about it. As Naruto would explain, Jiraiya would say that would make sense of why Obito had one Renegon in his eye, rather two of them. Saying so, Nagato was pain, huh? As he said, yeah, he had red hair, right? Yeah, Jiraiya would confirm as Nanto would nod his head. As Jiraiya would sigh, heartbroken at the, what essentially is the, not the destruction of his students, but the, uh, the path that his students have taken from the path that he taught them. Quite heartbroken at the change of paths, he would tell Jiraiya and that they destroyed the other one. So Nanto would now be the sole um, Renegon user in the world. But Naruto, Logan would reveal his other eye in, his, um, in a vial, telling Jiraiya that he doesn't want this eye. With the QB protesting, Logan would take the eye out before placing his own eye back within it. As a medical nin had who had been in the room, seeing Naruto do this, would immediately rush towards him and begin trying to heal his body. And with his own healing chakra, aiding Naruto's own healing factor, the eye would be back to normal as he tells Jiraiya to find a better user. Maybe Kakashi Sensei would be the best user of this eye. He's already mastered the shark eye. Why not give him another eye to master? Jiraiya says, are you sure, Naruto? Logan says, yeah. Plus, I think I'll retire from being a shinobi. Jiraiya is surprised. As he says, what about your dream? As he said... I've already done what the Hokage should do, bring peace to the world. I've helped, I've aided in bringing peace to the Shinobi world. Now I think I'll just travel around the Shinobi countries, no longer being Hokage. This was the end of my Shinobi career anyway. The needless death, the constant killing. I know I'll continue to kill on my travels as there will be times where it will be necessary, but I'll try to avoid it. He tells Jiraiya to not forget that he is still a sage. And when Jiraiya passes, he will pass on the Toe contract to a new user. And might even pass the QB on. As Jiraiya nods, Naruto decides, um, eventually gets up out of the um, out of his um bed and gets dressed before placing his clothes on. Before walking out of the hospital, as he had given Jiraiya his headband. With a note to Tsunade. Getting on his motorcycle, he'd ride to his house where he'd pack all his things within a scroll and would disembark from Konoha. Running off into the sunset now, Naruto had lived a happy life. And he kind of accomplished his dream, but he seen that part of the reason he wanted to be Hokage was to protect his precious people. He could do so now, and he had done so. Not having lost any precious people during the um, battles, but well, maybe besides that of the third Hokage, but that was before he was truly strong enough to take on anyone else. Logan was happy and content with the life that he had now. I'm going to disembark. He will be seen in Konoha every once in a while, and even he would have a son, well, a daughter named Laura. Who seems to inherit his ability except she inherited bone claws over his, uh, his original bone claws rather than his own metal ones. Who may be the mother? Actually, 
I actually was go. I put this to a um, a wheel. A, I spun the wheel and it landed on Eno. So, yes, Eno is the mother of Laura, and she traveled with Naruto as they traveled the world. And until Naruto would eventually just um stay within Konoha, living out the rest of his days, a happy life. Logan lived. And this is the end of the what if. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a bit lackluster. It was a terrible what if in my opinion. I, I think I did terrible. But I'll try and do better. As I can continue to get back into what if. I have five other what ifs to record record for this in upcoming month. As I want to have them all out in time for me to just post them. And then have a month to record the next eight what ifs for the next month. And then the next eight for that. Because there will be an upload schedule of two what ifs a uh, two what ifs a week, and if I can't do two, I will at least try to get one out. So yeah, I will see you guys later. What if entertainment out?